we're live, we're live, we're live, we're live. Oh, we're live. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. That is, there's usually a little bit of a countdown. There um, was one. No, no one's, hi, everybody, morning. <laughs> uh, welcome to uh, FBL Juice's stream session, the place to get all of your favorite content all here in one convenient place. Good morning to you all. The international break is over. We survived. Congratulations if you survived. If you didn't survive, you're probably not watching this. And oh, that, that spoils the surprise. Yeah. Start the so, show. Bye, love yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thanks, James. James is leaving me, like, there's no Ash today, as you can see. Um, so you, you just got me with my fabulous guests. And, and today, James is leaving me as well. So I'm, I'm literally sort of officially in charge, which is kind of worrying. But there we go. Um, and, and he's even given me a mute button, which I feel like I'm promising. Literally, if I press this button, Right there. That, no. Um, if, if I press oh, that button, the, the stream's gone. We're done. Have a nice day. And, and we won't be back. So hopefully I won't press that button. I don't know why he's giving it to me. It seems like a dangerous thing. But there we go. Anyway, good morning to you all. Hope you're all well. Um, and yes, as you can see, because I was given the opportunity to talk to James this week, that's why. Um, I've got three fantastic guests with me today. I'm going to say the best for last. So, first up, he's become a regular on this show, he's uh, an absolute legend. Are you, are you going to be going off and doing your TikTok thingy for the kids? I will be. You will. Last, so th will last 13. With a, with a blank screen, because that won't change. Um. <laughs> have, have you guys changed these earpieces? No. no you, has you, my ear... Tech, you can't implant earpieces. Has my ear changed? <laughs> yes, yes, you're getting old. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong ear. <laughs> Join the club. It's definitely not the wrong ear, because... <laughs> Oh, I'm not FM. Hi, that would help. No. Nope. Anyway, hello. My name is Sim. Right, Mike. Uh, I do the good stuff. Yeah, you do the good stuff. I'm just uh, having to go to your technical stuff. And I, I got provide no in front the of me. entertainment. Tom provides the yap. The yap. I am <laughs> I am the best yapper around. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 are cap you are capable of the it. Yep, let's, crapper, let, let's, the yap Let's do that. <laughs> um, but yes, I don't know if you heard any of that then, because the mic was miles away from me. Um... But yeah, such a new thanks, Ash. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, yep. That's me. I'm a, yep, I'm who a let fair this play. guy host. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know who the hell. I don't know who decided. Oh, you should have left me, Ash. Get rid. Shouldn't have left me. Get should be rid. a part timer. Um, anyway, so yes, Sim is here with me. Um, and actually, to bring you someone. Also, well, also, I, hold up, hold oh, up. Oh, oh, oh. Repping this beautiful Barcelona shirt. Away from last season, if I'm right. Who's on the back? Are you trying to get sponsored by Spotify? Oh, Pedri. Mm. Let's go. Someone is, someone I, I is, someone is worse shirt. than mine. Is. And it's like. got like the mapping of the Barcelona streets in faint. You can't see on the screen. Oh, does it? Oh, that's class. It's, it's like very that. beautiful. Oh, anyway. Nice. nice. Please sure continue. It goes too well with our orange background, but you know. Anyway. Please so yes, also with me today is our top of the juice... Juice uh, Pundits League, absolutely flying, actually bringing some actual decent FPL clout <laughs> to the show. Where are you now? About 10k, 12, 12k, uh, no, 5k? Top, just outside top 4k. Ooh. It was top 1.5k before that game at 29. It was just like, uh, still got my free hit and bench boost and wildcard, so we're all good. Ah, so you'll be presumably wildcarding this week or next week? Next week. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. Right, good, good. So we've got a branching of the strategies to talk about, but we'll save that for top stories. So welcome, Josh. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Really good to be here. Yeah. I'm actually on time this week. The M1's not too bad. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we were almost on time, except I then messed up and didn't have a microphone of me. So, yeah. you know. Left me waiting outside. And I did leave you waiting outside while we saw that <laughs> cameras and stuff. But there you go. And finally... Also with a, an unbelievably fantastic rank, currently at 67k in the world. And um, also, um, how's your back? Is that okay? It's doing well. It's, it's doing, doing all right, well. is it? It's doing well. Right, because uh, this absolute legend here, Daryl, uh, for those who were there last week at our fantastic spring uh, juice tournament, uh, Daryl was drafted in, um, and yeah, I couldn't, don't think we could have got a luckier draft. Um, because he absolutely carried us all. Um, and we got to the semi-finals and were cruelly beaten by, by Focal's team um, after Daryl. Well, actually, yeah, you messed up. You hit the post I with the miss, free hit. did miss. Yeah, no. No, he was absolutely just, Daryl, this is, yeah. Hello, mate, how are you? I'm very good. How are you? Very well, mate. Thank you very much. So, yeah, Daryl's making his debut. 
Um, on you haven't been on the main show yet, have you? I haven't. No. No. Right. So first time in the studio. Um, and yeah, welcome to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So today we will be going around the grounds, as it were, bringing to you uh, our favourite content. Create well, not our, our, the, the top four obvious ones. Um, plus, um, we will be keeping an eye on WhatsApp chats and for any Carl Walker gates, although he's out, so it can't be him. Um, bringing you all the news. Do let us know in the chat if you hear any news. Steve O's in the chat. Hello, mate. You absolute legend. Uh, so who else we got in the chat? We've got Roberto, Yellow Army, you absolute yeah. legend as well. Although, yeah, I'm not sure we should give you too much um too much uh Roberto's probably streaming whilst doing this. Well, I, no, I think he's probably still cuddling the the trophy and you know. Yeah, he'd be all right. He's still Enjoying saying himself. that we that you beat us one nil. That's what he's still saying. <laughs> <laughs> um we beat him three nil. Sorry? Who? Oscar. We beat Focals 3 3 nil. Oh, you know, I meant, I meant oh, us, graduates. like graduates. You beat them as well? No, 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 no we he's talking them. about the gradual <laughs> gate, whatever you want to call did, it. Did you not see the absolute mammoth thread that Roberto did? Oh, week? yeah, 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 I saw the thread. <laughs> Why, what did that have to do with the he, he basically just said that you beat us 1-0 oh, and that yes. our chip didn't yeah, count. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, Roberto, I will give you some time, some more time, because <laughs> you're an absolute legend, because you backed us up after they, they basically <laughs> cheated. Um, and, and yeah, so basically, if you don't know, basically Demon. what happened was, is um, they scored some brains in a team, no ability, but brains in a team, <laughs> played the didn't see it chip, so their goal didn't count, obviously, happy days. Um, then we score a last minute winner, last second winner, score the winner, whistle blows, game over. Listen. Then they play a chip. I'll just let you take it, mate. Then, then, then they play the chip. Listen. They didn't see a chip. After the whistle goes, the game is done. Doesn't count, right? Listen to me. I have no, explained this to. on the Tuesday podcast very clearly. And <laughs> uh, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> 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 There's two main points of contention here. There's two main point, points of contention. The first one is the chips are. So I'm trying to go to have a look at our um, <laughs> streams to learn today. <laughs> I'm going to come first over there. First of all, it's FPL Focal, everyone. Mic. He said the in basically the injury situation has got so bad that they had to get one of the coaches to play in training. And then the coach pulled his hamstring and he said, even, I've not, even got coaches drop into injury as well now. <clears throat> so yeah, very unfortunate. Luton, I think Luton will go down. They might have had a chance of staying up if they didn't have all these injuries, but I think it's going to be far too many injuries now. <clears throat> and let's talk Andy. The There's no point in me using transfers to fix that. So the team that I will be working towards is Neto in goal, Gabriel and Saliba in defence with <coughs> Van Dyke probably. I just don't know if I'm going to trust Trent's minutes enough. That's my back three in midfield Saka Sarabia Eze and someone else Saka Salah. Sarabia Salah. Eze Salah. who else is doubling that week Salah he's, he's, I think he's buying who am I missing Salah, Salah obviously um, <laughs> and then Darwin Solanke and then maybe Harlan but possibly Mateta or Cunha because the, the plans that I've got right now when I get to game week 34, I'm going to have 10 double game week players. I'm going to have Zabani on the bench if it all goes smoothly. And I'll have one spare transfer and Harlan in the 11. So I may well sell Harlan for Mateta or Cunha as a one week pump, but I'm not, I'm not 100% convinced on that. And in some ways, I'd almost like an injury or something or a suspension that forces me to use the free transfer on someone else that I have to keep Harlan, but we'll see. Who do City play? If Haaland subbed off, Foden might be on bed. I mean, what are the chances yeah. that Foden's right on the away. pitch longer than Haaland? I don't think it's that high. And, I, and I'm not sure no. Foden would be next up. But actually, no do you know what? Maybe. Rodri probably would take the penalty, I reckon, after Haaland. Sounds good. All right. Well, don't want to spoil the top stories content, but um, we will be discussing how our... Um, Chip strategies uh, spread out and how we'll be uh, working our way through the upcoming doubles. I'm sure all of you know, but we've got a big double coming in 34, a mini double in 35, or probably more likely 36, and then another big double in 37. But more of that later. 
And first of all, let's go and have a check out on FPL Harry. Fine. But if not, keep Kudus and probably sell Kirkes because he's got the biggest minutes risk. I mean, average was 12, but loads of people didn't play their free hit. So if I'm getting on free hit, I mean, crazy differential for FPL Challenge. I mean, I've got Mikhailo Mudrik in my team, so he might change if he doesn't start. But if he starts, then... Matt, you're on wildcard. Thoughts on Muniz this week as a punt? I absolutely love it this week. It's just, do you want to be booking transfers? Because he'll, you won't want him as part of the bench. People and do FPL Airy. It's normally... It's normally really Kulisevsky, Madison, or Charleston if he starts as well. Oh. Son always seems he, to he got really pissed get, the, off get the late points when he can get, <laughs> he get teams on the counter, especially that Villa game. He, he got he a goal five the minutes ago and then he got two assists in the last minute then as well. So, yeah. Um, that's what I'm kind of dreading, to be honest with you. Son staying on against the tired Luton defence if there's a couple of goals in it. But um, Luton have had their break. I know they have... I know they have uh, I know they have have had a break, but um, and they have a few injuries, but we'll see. Um, that's what's worrying me, to be honest with you, with 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 Son. Um, he, he when he stays on against higher defenses, but without going for him for captaincy. But Salah's back. Salah was doing well in, in the in the Europa. Um, so hopefully, um, another one of our stories we'll be checking out. Who are the best? Uh, Best captain is for you uh, for this week because it is a tricky one. I think there are at least three, even four uh, very good candidates for you. Uh, so without further ado, um, let's check out our top stories of the week. First story we'll be looking at is, um, well, one of them will be we'll be having a look at our new game, the new thing, the thing that everyone in the in the whole community is so unbelievably happy to see. It's exactly what everyone's been wanting. The changes to the game have arrived, and no one likes it. Um, or do they? We shall find out. I don't mind it. I think it's quite fun uh, and a little bit different. Um, and yeah, so it is. Of course, that is FPL Challenge. Uh, for anyone who's... Sorry, I've got kids in the room. I've got to explain. This is Challenge Annika. She was very famous in the 80s and 90s for doing the show called Challenge Annika. Um, <laughs> and lots of young boys watched her going around and liked her and got very excited. Um, but yes, Challenge. That's Challenge Annika, okay? Um, or, as we may... I'm so disappointed. We've got a Juice uh, Challenge League for you all to join. I am... Uh, uh, Sim will be putting that comment into the... Uh, putting that in the comment, the, the league code. Um, so he, he's on that. Would you like, um, and I'm gutted because we've called it the Juicy Challenge. Would you like to tell me what the league code is? Yeah, if you check out our, our tweets, you'll find it. It is on your Twitter. Oh, the, the, the Juice tweet. The Juice. <laughs> wait, no, it's the Juice show, so the Juice has tweeted about it. I'm a bit young. I don't know what Twitter is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I only know X. <laughs> uh, X. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, and I'm gutted because we called it Juice Ch Juicy Challenge. When, you know, this is Nick and Ash's show. Well, the juice is. This is my show. No. Um, and, and it's not been called Challenge Ash Nicker. But you won't get that because you're too young. You're young. Do you, no, do you get you? that? Challenge Annika? No, no, no. Yeah, don't yeah, explain no, no, it. No, no, do you I get, get it? it? I get it. I'm older, I'm older than I think I, I look. How old I'm are you? I'm good. <laughs> 30, uh, almost 35. Oh, damn. You're old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up with it. I thought you were going to say you're in your 20s. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're nearer than me than I thought, but yeah. you're still unfortunately miles away. Um, no, Listen, there's no <laughs> challenge Ashnika or juice challenge. Juicy challenge. There, there is. is. I think you just scroll past it. I just scroll past it? I think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, some these kids are in the technology. You can't do it. Uh, That's gaming 30. Um, right. Uh, ah, thank you, Delia, the greatest moderator in town. Um, getting rid of um, yeah the fake FPL Harry who has been invading um, various different uh, streams. Uh, mate, seriously, what is wrong with you? Um, oh, I thought that was actually not, FPL not Delia. Harry. Delia, you're an absolute legend, and we all love you. But FPL ha fake uh, Harry, like Ash, Ash fell for it. <laughs> no. Oh, Ash. <laughs> no, I fell for it as well. To be honest. <laughs> oh dear. No, let's not encourage him. Um, yeah, you're losing me. Anyway, um, so yes, we will be checking out our um, uh, the FPL challenge and having a talk through our teams on that. Have you guys made a team? 
Yeah. I have, and I've Good. I've made use of I'm gonna the... look at it since We'll Tuesday. talk about it in a sec. We'll talk about it in a sec. And on to our second one. It is, of course, the Double Game Weeks. They are here. Um, obviously, since we've done uh, this type of uh, streamception show, they came out through the uh, international break, and we'll be looking at the different strategies and what to do. Have you got your how many chips you got left? What to do with them, and all that jazz. Um, and finally, of course, yeah, um, uh, we have the end of the international break. It is here, um, and yeah, football has returned to uh, something normal and actually interesting. Um, as and we'll obviously be looking at um, what the news is uh, and any um, any any relevant injuries and things like that. Although it seems to be that this international break, apart from maybe a couple of walk, you know Walker and Stones types, um, it's been fairly okay for most teams. Um, and um, yeah, I, with the international break, let's go there first because I you know, is the sort of leads on to everything else. I have got to say, international break. Right, we've got England against Brazil. Well, the last time we played them was like 2017. The time before that was like 2014. We get to play Brazil like once every five years on average. Mm. And it's at Wembley. And it was just nobody cared. I mean, to be fair, like, obviously this time around Brazil, what? They, they had most, it's like a second string team. You got to watch Pele, for example. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. So I guess it... it, it it depends on sort of the intensity of the game, mm -hmm. what's actually on the line. And when England are poor, nobody really cares in it. Everyone acts like we don't watch it when, when, <laughs> we, when we did. <laughs> International breaks are like that. It's a, it's a, it was a friendly. I don't think people were that fussed. And there was nothing really on the line anywhere except for Wales, who didn't make it anyway. So, But Brazil did play their full team. No, they had uh, a basically second string team. They played from, a, from played the, a keeper from and had a cap, didn't they? They didn't have Edison or Allison. Yeah. Okay, so no keeper apart from that. There was they're playing like Andreas. Name one of the defenders. Yeah, because they got none. They do. I mean, they, Gabriel um, Gab was Gabriel, out. Thiago Silva. Uh, uh, Thiago Silva was like seventy-four. Old, Thiago Silva is Marquinhos. almost as old as me. He would yeah. got your reference, but he'd still start if he was fit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn, you're older than Silva. Um, no, who's older, you or Pepe? As well. no, you know what? You know what's you know what's really depressing, who's right? Who's older, you or Pepe? You know, no, no, you know what's really, really depressing. Right? I am, old, I am, <laughs> yeah. I am now old enough, right, that the manager of my club is younger than me. Who is, who is the president? Arteta's younger than me. Arteta's, you, you're like double Arteta's age. But who, who, who is <laughs> literally like a few months? Who was president when you were born of America? President of America. President. I don't, Reagan, I think. I don't know. Oh I'm, God. I'm English. Who was prime minister? Uh, Thatcher. Oh my God. Okay. And and she was for the first nine years of my life. She was prime minister for nine years. You're she in, was you're in, she you're was in the prime minister book, for fourteen. So. She was prime minister for fourteen. <laughs> were you like I think fourteen years? Were you like 12 or 14 out years? with your pitchfork when no, she was trying years. to sell the council houses off and stuff? I was a baby. What? <laughs> I don't know, man. Your hairline says different. But, oh. <laughs> He's coming at me today. Listen, I like you started it, it today. No, I, I like today. I, I was like gonna it. take it easy. You said kids like three times, and I was like, no, okay. no, fair, fair. Okay. No, I'm, okay. I like it. You opened. I like with, it. I'm gonna introduce by the best, and then start with Sim. Listen, <laughs> you you started this. He's making okay. notes. I will receipts. continue. Okay, I will continue. Sim holds See, Bungle's receipts. got the right idea. I was thinking Abe Lincoln's probably the good. Oh, like, okay, Bungle. All right, that's how it's gonna be. Ch yeah. Churchill. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, no, no. Ch Churchill is still Secretary of State. <laughs> 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 okay, please continue. I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, but Bungle and Wade Wilson have actually laid me out. Uh, no, I'm I, Sim. I, I respect him, mate. Good banner to me. Yeah, okay. You know, fair okay, play. Um, so, yes, we will be uh, looking at the. So, international break. Yeah. And then the other thing, which, which um, on, when, on Tuesday night, wasn't it? Tuesday, Wednesday, when, when did we play Belgium? Tuesday, Tuesday wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. What really annoyed me is you, like, you have the Premier League games and they're quite sensible in going, right, let's space out the good games these days, right? So you get a nice weekend where most of the games and then you're like, oh my God, I can't believe they put a decent game on at three o'clock or occasionally you get annoyed by the two o'clock on the Sunday choice because they've chosen the TV game and then a Europa League uh, team plays on, at the same time at two o'clock and it's a much better game than the one they televised and that's slightly irritating. But basically, they're good at spreading it out. On Tuesday night, I was in my flat with my Colombian wife. So we had England-Belgium. We had Colombia-Romania. I mean, obviously, that's not a great game for anyone except for, you know, my household. 
Um, but th more importantly, at the same time as England, Belgium, there was uh, Spain against Brazil. There that, was, that was a great game. There apparently. was France against Chile. And there was Germany against Netherlands. Mm -hmm. All at the same time. Yeah, That's just stupid. That's just madness. Like, and and what was the most irritating is that all the games, obviously except for England game, which is on on normal TV, was that all the games were on, you know, some stupid subscription that's, you know, no one's ever heard of, and you got to pay for it. Like, yeah. sort yourselves out, people. FIFA, UEFA, wherever you are. Even the fact that I'll tell you what was most annoying about the international break. So I'm going off on one today. Um, too much coffee. Um. <laughs> The most, the most annoying thing about it was I was sitting there on Friday night with my missus in, in the flat, and we went, oh, Colombia against Spain tonight. Oh, didn't realise that was, oh, it's on at 8.30. Oh, great, because usually Colombian games are in, in South America, right? So they're on at 2 or 3 in the morning. That was at London Stadium. I went to watch it. Well, this is my point. Yeah. You went to watch it. Yeah, yeah. We didn't know about it. So yeah. I'm sitting there at home seeing a not full stadium with Colombia, and I'm like, we could have been there. <laughs> but why is Colombia Spain in London? And I looked it up, and it's because of some sponsorship bollocks. And you know, because they're they're looking to get um a, you know some sponsorship thing, and you know, and it's all just money. It's like that is just so wrong, so wrong. Yeah. Did you guys watch any international break football? Um, oh, well, yeah. my uh, I was watching Southend Solihull actually <laughs> on Tuesday. Very good. Um, proper, fan. proper football. Proper, yeah, yeah, proper football man. That took a priority. <laughs> Mm. Uh, I watched the highlights uh, of uh, the Belgium England game after. Mm. Um, so is that, is that your is that like your uh, second team or did you just feel like it's non-league football or what's the story there? Uh, my, no, my team, my number one team is Southend. Nice. Um, yeah, for my sins. <laughs> uh, so yeah, try to try to go to as many games as I can or watch them by the by the the, the, the games on TV and watch them. Um, but I thought Southend Solihull had the had the makings to be a lot better than England. Was it England Belgium? <laughs> So, uh, is this still fake FPL Harry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's him. not got a tick. Uh, no, no, just remove him. How do I remove? Uh, no, no, actually, put him in a timeout. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hours. Is there nothing longer than twenty-four hours? No, just we'll block him later on or something. Delia, cool. keep, block him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Delia, do your thing. <laughs> um, right. So South yes. End, so ha so South End's your actual team. Like actual team. Do, do you have a second team or is it just? <laughs> I know. I, so I'm a teacher as well, and I okay. tell when I tell my students this, I, I, that's the first question they ask. Is it, mm. As if it's a joke. Like, oh, you must support another team. No, <laughs> um, <'cause> no, you <laughs> must like. Otherwise, you'll be days, clinically eh? depressed. No, I'm asking because I get asked that question all the time. I'm a Barcelona fan. Right, right. So right. I'm always like, oh, but who do you support in the Premier League? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I'm just a Barcelona fan. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy the Premier League, but I don't support someone yeah, in the Premier yeah. League. So it's really, it's really good that you only have one team. No, so well, well, also. Basically, most of my family support Arsenal. Mm. So if my life, my life's already stressed because I support Southend. Mm. So if I want it to be less stressed, then <laughs> Arsenal need to win just so the household is a, a little bit more contained. So, um, but you presumably brought up in Southend or around uh, there? Granddad lived just down the road uh, oh, from the stadium. Okay. So he used to, he got me into it. Uh, I can see on the chat, someone's talking about Freddie Eastwood, like my, uh, my icon. Um, <laughs> So I look at that. Not not only is he like <laughs> is he supporting Southend, but he's done the ultimate. He's done the ultimate football thing. He supports him because he's really granddad. I love Thanks, that. Man. I love that. And Sim, why do you glory hunt? Sorry, why do you support Barcelona? Is it because you were you you were born there? Is it because your family's there? Como estás? Hablas muy bien español, no? Why do you support Arsenal? Because I grew up in North London. It's my local team. And there's no other team in North London. No, but that's Arsenal? my local team. It's the closest one to where I grew up. It's the closest one to where you grew up. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Can we fact check that somewhere? <laughs> I'm sure. And, and you? I'm sure there's a and national you? league. And you? You? Oh, Listen, you, you grew no. up in the, you grew up when I grew up in Birmingham. So my local team is Birmingham. The Blues begins with a B. Right. Birmingham or Aston Villa, <laughs> Wolves. Aston Villa or Wolves would not be my local team. It's either it would be it would be mm. the Blues. But we had a very <laughs> bad relationship with the people of the Blues because I lived close to the ground, so I hated the fans. And I have my mom used to have this satellite dish which we didn't have like Sky and that stuff. We just had that satellite dish, which captured just random stuff. So we used to get like La Liga TV, some random Saudi channels. I used to watch SpongeBob in German for years. <laughs> I still don't speak German, by the way. But I, I just <laughs> or, or used Spanish. To... Or Spanish. No, I'm actually learning Spanish. Quiero aprender español. Anyway. Um, oh, come on. How has he, this guy, <laughs> he's broke out of two jails. How is Josh, how is this, I feel Harry still here. Josh is a cheese melt. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't laugh, just block. Anyway, um, Delhi's got that. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, so 
I only watched La Liga for years and obviously Champions League was on ITV back then. A couple of years back. Um, so I would watch the Spanish clubs in Champions League and Spanish La Liga. And I grew a very big hatred for, um, what do you call it? Madrid during that time. And Barcelona became my team. Who, but who, I st- who was your Barcelona like icon when you were Messi, Ronaldinho. Oh, you you're old enough for Ronaldinho, yeah. are you? The he's one well of old. one of the earliest. I'm actually not that young. Like he's way younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I'm 27. And I, but then why are you trying to hang around with the kids? It's just weird. <laughs> what, which kids am I hanging around with? I'm TikTok. Around, I'm on TikTok. <laughs> 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 um. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, you said Ronaldinho. Yes, Ronaldinho. So one of the one of the very f- earliest games I saw I saw was the final against Arsenal, which very good Ronaldinho performance. Um, but I'm sure you have things to say about that. 2006. Yeah, I'm trying to okay. So you're nine years old. Yes. Fair. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. For my my first memories. Yeah. Was sort of Italia World Cup and things. Italia '90. Um. Top. Yeah. About the same age. I was eight. Yeah. Fair. You support. United, United, yeah. local team from from Manchester, of course. Yeah, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Can you not hear that? Can you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, you not, can you not hear the accent? <laughs> no, because this glory hunting thing is ridiculous, isn't it? Like, everyone supports the team that to tend be, to, to be, be doing honest, well when they were starting to. Watch no, football. no one in my family likes football, so I ended up just seeing Wayne Rooney when I was growing up, and that's why I support United. Yeah, same same thing. Like I didn't really have anyone in the family who liked watching football. No, I I didn't really. But so yeah, so I support my local team. Who's like the biggest South End legend? Uh, do you know what? I've just seen the chat as well. It's quite funny. It brings it all together. It's saying about Sol Campbell. So he was the he scored in the final, didn't he? It was the he did. He scored in the yeah. final. So yeah, the Barcelona. Barcelona Arsenal. Do and he, he managed South End. Yeah. Oh. For four That's months, five. Months? It was only four months, five months. It was not long time. <laughs> it was bad. It was <laughs> very, didn't, didn't very do, bad. Didn't he do well at the beginning, or was that with a different team? Because one team he did quite well with. He did well with. I want to say. Is it Notts County? Notts County. It was Notts yeah. County. That was it. Um, yeah. And then yeah, awful, awful at South End. Uh, yeah, there was rumours. It was yeah. G- gone off the map now. Finished him. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he called us Southampton a couple of times, <laughs> which, which went down well. I'm yeah. sure that weren't really on really yeah. the fans. Really, is is yeah. it a London club? Uh, South End. South End. Yeah. Yeah. No, Essex. 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 Yeah. Essex. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not loved. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Spurs or or South End. I know. He's definitely <laughs> not loved at Spurs. <laughs> um, got him on a broom. Right. So. Uh, let's quickly, with just under an hour to go until the deadline, I am just going to give you all of the, um... Oh, this bit. Sorry, Sorry. you don't like this no, bit. No, no, it's just long. It's just, it's just, you just talk for like half an hour now. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, well, this bit is actually useful for the viewers, you see. There's That's the, the whole point, right? So, uh, I'll we... record a quick TikTok video. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> um, so... Uh, we uh, will bring you all of the uh, injury news and um, uh, all, all the injury news and all the um, uh, the news from uh, injuries and press conferences going on. So, very very quickly, I'm going to go this scroll quickly because you know the kids got no attention span these days. <laughs> <laughs> you got your Ritalin. Fair play, does it? Yeah, good. thanks. <laughs> um, so, first of all, to Chelsea, Gusto and Palmer are back in training. Chilwell will be assessed after suffering a knock. Chukwema, Chalaba, Rob Sanchez out injured, um, and James Colwell, Fofana, and Nkonku are long term absentees. For Arsenal, Martinelli, Gabriel, and Saka have a chance to play. They haven't trained yet, but tomorrow we have another session. For Man City, Walker and Stones have been both ruled out. Edison doing much better. KDB has trained well. Akanji and Grealish are okay and have trained. For Liverpool, Robertson's injury is not serious. He will work day by day. So there were fears he was going to be out for quite a while. It looks like it's going to be days rather than weeks. But probably probably not going to be one who's going to be available uh, this week. Darwin Nunez is fine. He's training with the team and it's all good. Canate is fine too. Uh, Jones training but might not be involved versus Brighton. Uh, and Allison, Trent and Jota will be involved in parts of team training from next week. So that's going to kill various people's um, ideas with the double game week. Hands up if you've got Kelleher um, or Bradley. Probably not the best news uh, there on in that respect, but good, obviously, for Liverpool fans. For Spurs, Richarlison is OK, trained today and feels good. This is obviously when the press conference was done, I believe, yesterday or possibly on Thursday. 
I think that's from yesterday. Um, all the internationals got through unscathed. Van der Ven had trained the last few days, so he's available. And Benton Core is also fine. Uh, Crystal Palace. Elise is involved in training this week. Game week 30 is too early, but we will see the next days. Uh, Munoz is fit. Uh, no problem. And Schlup is also back. Man United, uh, Lissandra Martinez could be part of the squad uh, and Luke Shaw is expected to play again this season. So not nothing imminent, but will not ruled out for the whole season. For Newcastle, Miley ruled out along with Bob Botman, who has undergone knee surgery. Barnes, Trippier, Livermental could possibly return and Dubravka is fine. For Bournemouth, Solanke training well without any issues. Uh, Senesi, Frederick, Siniestra are ruled out. Kirk has a wait and see after picking up a calf issue on international duty. Uh, and Iriola won't say that I wouldn't say that Kirkers cannot play. Kelly and Aaron's are back. Aaron's past fit and Kelly has a chance to be involved. For Wolves, Huang is back on grass and he could return in less than three weeks. Um, Dawson will be out for game week 30. Hopefully he'll be with the group next week. Uh, Neto could return for the last few weeks of the season. No mention of Cunha, but he was spotted in training this week. Uh, for Brentford, Rico Henry, Josh De Silva and Ben Mee out for the season. Unlucky Harry, um, the real Harry, um, me, you, all that. Uh, Regulon is suspended and Norgard, Sharda, Pinnock are progressing well, but too soon for a return. And Mbumo played in the house game on Thursday and could start versus Man United. So Mbumo is back on the menu, although no doubles for them, but they do have good fixtures. Luton Town, who cares? No, oh, sorry, Ash. Og Benny added to the injury list. Osho expected to return soon. Adebayo, Anderson, Lukonga will miss the Spurs game. Uh, Doughty and Mpanzo are fit after being subbed off versus Forest in game week 29. For Fulham, no injury news, full squad available. Aston Villa, Jacob Ramsey's, available. Blah, 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 blah. Jacob Ramsey's availability will be decided later today. Matty Cash will be sidelined. That was yesterday. Uh, Matty Cash will be sidelined for two to three weeks and McGinn is suspended after his horror tackle. West Ham, we're pretty much fine, says Moyes. Question mark over Aguerd and we're assessing Pakita. Um and who probably got himself injured. Uh, this is me saying it, not not Moyes. Probably got himself injured trying to foul Bellingham all of last Saturday. <laughs> um, Everton, Gay is fit. Uh, Dan Juma, Dobbin and Ali are all out. And Dan Juma is back on the grass. For Sheffield United, who cares? But Bulldog is touch and go. A couple of players could return. Archer, Silmani, Cameron is near, nearly and Anis is nearly as well. Holgate returns from suspension. Burnley, Fafana cannot play parent club Chelsea. So if you brought him in and you weren't on a free hit like me and brought him in and actually got some decent points on free hit 29, um, then you've actually got Fafana I and mean, he can't play this week. Uh, no injuries to players involved in international break. I didn't know Burnley had any players on international, but there we go. Uh, and no other updates on injured players. I, I, Al Dakir or Bayer. Nottingham Forest, some issues according to Nuno, but nothing specifically mentioned. Bolly suffered an injury during the international break. Chris Wood cleared after suffering a knock versus Luton. Anna Wanyi is sidelined due to a serious injury. Return unknown. So Chris Wood looking locked. That's it. Sim, you can come back to me now. Oh, hey. Right. I would, I would, I would, uh, you know when you like leave a note in the notes suggestion box? I would like no, to we don't, we don't, a no, thanks, uh, virtual Moving on. So uh, let's go and have a check out. <laughs> what I would say is whilst it is very valuable to offer all that information, uh, a lot of the bits are not that important. So I don't care if Fafana is still a long-term, long-term absentee for Chelsea. And I don't think anyone does. Like Archer on his way back. Maybe we can um, filter and choose which ones are important and then say those out so we're not sat here for half an hour. That's my Please, someone suggestion. in the chat tell me that that was useful. Just someone just say that <laughs> Fofana injury or that Fofana news or again, can't play against, not injury, can't play against parent clubs. Someone tell me. I was, was going to bring him in this week. To they, sure. they, <laughs> there you go. There you go. You see? There you go. Right. Okay. So on to, we're going to talk about um, fancy challenge. I think we could do fancy challenge after the deadline. Right. So we'll come to that in a bit. Um, but first of all, um, Oh, I feel Should onions we... really appreciate you. Hey, there you go. Oh. My guy. Is that your mum watching? <laughs> <laughs> you got him going now? <laughs> I'll be back for dinner later, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you see, I'm old, see, I don't still live with my mum. <laughs> I actually got a mature, responsible life. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. Um, anyway, right, let's get to His know. His mum lives with him. <laughs> don't become like <laughs> <laughs> um, right. 
Shall we get to know our, our guest and then perhaps you can start us off with letting us know how how your team is doing, how you're doing, and and obviously what your your strategy is uh, for the upcoming weeks. So to the um, F FPL Juices uh, main guy, um, he played every single minute of our games. Um, he scored some absolute bangers um, and he carried us all on his back. Um, hello, Daryl, mate. So... So first of all, as 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 is your first juice time, how did you how did you get involved in 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 the in in FPL and then in the community? So uh, always been playing FPL for a long time, um, and yeah, just always been interested in it. Just followed people on Twitter, um, then followed them on X just to get my other um, community involved with that, uh, and then yeah, just followed watched a few YouTube, and then I saw on. Uh, they saw there was like the trials for the team self um, for the game week 39. Um, so someone was posting about that and then went to one of the trials, uh, got in to the team and met a few people from there. Uh, then obviously attended the uh, the uh, the tournament the other day at the father's side and again got meeting a few people from that as well. And then just from there, got speaking and... And now here, I guess. Nice. Um, You've never done to any sort of the meetups or fest or anything like that. Not yet. No, not yet. I, I'm planning to. Nice. Uh, but so that 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 trial uh, for the South was the was the first sort of meet, I guess, yeah. um, that I've done. Uh, but yeah, always played it. Always been okay. Always won like always won my mini leagues at my friends. But that was more of like a uh, you know more of a, a last man surviving. I think um, you know if you're still doing it by Christmas time, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you've won the league. Um, but uh, yeah, no. So I've just I've just built up from there, and uh, yeah, just really enjoy it. And where are you now? Uh, I think I'm 67k this season. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry, if you've not cut, if you've not cut that, Sim and I are just like, wow, hot. Josh is just like, I suppose. <laughs> That's the second delay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, I guess that's, that's decent. That's decent. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a class rank. What are you aiming for? What was the? Oh, did you not really have an aim? Tom could no, only so dream. I guess my my top my, my highest rank is nineteen k, which is a few seasons ago. Uh, I, I I feel like I should push on because I've still got I've still got bench boost, still got free hit. Uh, playing my wild card this week. Uh, so I should. Should push on, shouldn't I? Unless, you unless should. I can, I you've got to be having top 10k, haven't you? That's, oh, that's the aim, that's or at least getting to put PB. I that's suppose. the aim, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah PB, hopefully, PB top first. 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. What nice. I find helpful when I'm like climbing or on a good run, you've like, been on one, I've, I've been on great runs. I've finished 8,000 8, last season. The literally, is that your best? Yes, unlucky. Oh, what was your best? 3.3. Oh, well done. Thanks, well done. Do you want to? Do you want to? <laughs> no, it's like half a ding though. <laughs> <laughs> What's your best, Josh? Uh, last season was 1.5. So you're aiming for a PB as well, I assume. Top 1K has to be this season, yeah. yeah. There was a point where you 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 actually lived the dream, didn't you? This yeah, season. I was I was in yeah not this season last season I was top 1K, but it was like game week 38. I went like all in. I think Captain Harry Kane or whatever, and right. I just lost a couple of hundred places. But, but I, I think I remember about a third of the way through the season or halfway <coughs> through this season, you were actually going. Yeah, it's been. It's, 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 it's I'm, been in, a... I'm in this. I'm in the race here. Cause yeah. You then had a bad week when that dream was over, didn't you? Yeah. I, to be fair, like it's been pretty decent all season, but yeah, not not quite number one in the world. Not not, not, not like focal. Off one k. One off one k. I think only like about twenty odd points or something yeah, like that. You get that. Yeah. yeah. And and I've you, got all my chips. You've there, got all so. your chips as well, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Other than triple captain, but who needs that? Exactly. Useless chip. Yeah. <laughs> Bench boost and triple captain just. All right. Uh, before we carry on, just to apologise to all of our viewers um, and to Ash uh, for my uh, lack of awareness and technical abilities and leaving you on on the new stream uh, thing there. So yeah, apologies for that. Um, uh, Ash, never mind about your brother. Um, hmm. Oh, I didn't, it was also didn't really it was also like pre it was pre twenty eighteen, so it don't count. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know those 2014 one kick uh, yeah. finishes. <laughs> what with those? With those one dad with those one million players. <laughs> was there though? Yeah, there was drastically much less. There were drastically players. less, but I, I a one k finish back then is a ten k. Yeah, but I'm now. not so sure because I mean, like I've played since its inception, um, essentially. <laughs> you, in the newspaper, where you got to post it in. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't actually post it in. We just played played with your mates in school. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, so yeah, we used to. You didn't 
you were a kid and you had to like spend the money and then it was like two quid and nah. Um, so we actually would just have our own teams at school, right? But you just write them down and you'd use either Telegraph or the Sun, right? But then I played like FPL since inception. And FPL's always been big and huge, not like it is today, right? But everyone seems to think, oh yeah, these days there's like so many other new players. No, there's loads more bots. And no, but it's genuinely more. It is, but it's not. That. It's not Every like it's not like anything pre 2018 don't count. I'm no, not no, 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 no. Obviously, no, no one's to say nothing doesn't count. But what That's I'm saying literally is literally what you said. What I'm saying <laughs> is <laughs> exactly what I'm saying. Is, it's 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 it was more cha it's more challenging now to get a 1,000 finish than it was. Before 2015, sure. for example. So, sure, but it doesn't it doesn't make it relevant, especially with all the algorithms. And... Yeah, I mean, like think think now, every season YouTube content gets bigger. Like you make content every season, it gets bigger. Every preseason, it gets bigger. This show gets mm. bigger every season, and it just means there's more managers who are engaged, focusing, paying attention to what you should be doing. These models get bigger every time. FPL review basically just tells people what to do. So th as that happens, getting a top 10k finish gets harder and harder and harder. So I think it does deserve more plaudits compared to pre 2017. Yes, but yes, I, I'll agree with that. But I just think it's a stretch. I think it's a stretch. And everyone just goes, it don't count. No, no, that, that was that was Josh. That was Josh. That's oh. Josh. Yeah. Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Ashley purchased your team. <laughs> right so daryl yes. um you are uh, are you wild carding this week i'm wild carding you are wild carding for the wild card. um unfortunately without james here it's far too technical to me to get your team up on screen um so read it out what is your wild card team and presumably you are you've got your free hit left I've got my free hit for 34 yeah so you've free hitting 34 bench yep. boosting 37 yeah and but you you have into wild card but you're wild carded now so you've got to manage that like Spurs blank Chelsea away Arsenal yeah. and then come the mim so how are you doing that read us through your team right go for the team then so start I guess I go starting this week then I've got Petrovic in goal uh, Gusto your doggy and Romero uh, in my defence uh, Garnacho Palmer Salah captain and Son. Uh, Harland, Solanke, and Darwin up front. And then my bench is Kelleher, uh, Foden, Lascelles, and Nathan Aki. Okay. Tasty. Very Big tasty. You got a lot of team value. Or they're playing yeah. FBL fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, my big question on that front, because this is my big question to everyone who is well carding this week or awesome. next week. Who's doing that, Averia? One of you guys. Next week. You're next week. I'm 35. You're, you're 35 like me, right? Oh, perfect. He's got two on two on two as well. So my big question is because you've got there three Chelsea, three Spurs. Yeah. Which obviously sets you up nicely for the post day four. Yeah. I bet you're pre hitting thirty four. Pre hitting thirty four. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I didn't know about Romero. Romero was double defense. Yeah, I'm not sure about that because then they're, they're not great defensively. So that one's sort of open. Romero. He's quite expensive as well, and he's like five mils. So yeah. You're not is. going. You don't want to go doggy. He's got I've, both. Got, I've got both. You don't get Oh, but not Poro. I couldn't afford Poro. I no. think I had to move because I wanted to keep Foden because Foden's fixtures get quite good mm. after this and obviously with the free hit 34. Mm -hmm. um, so it's look, looking a lot to... I should be able... I've got like a plan. I can't remember what it was right now, but I should be able to get... <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. I'll just, say, I'll just say I've got a plan. I've got a plan. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw a plan. Uh, uh, I should have um, a full bench boost uh, without taking hits. And then I think I've got all doubles... Oh no, uh, yeah. I mean, I should have the sort of the, the double Chelsea, double Spurs because they have the, the double doubles, don't they? Mm. Um, prior. So I, re I really yeah. like that you've gone for the. You, you've kept City assets. So yeah. you've, you've got Haaland, you've got Foden. A lot of the wild carders are dropping Foden because, yeah. I mean, you clearly got like an infinite bank or something. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, keep saying I can't afford it, but I've got to <laughs> I'm new to this, so I, I just ignore that. And then you've got the double Spurs. Romero Romero's interesting. Triple. Ash is just uh, defensive. Double, yeah, double, double defense. You got defense. Son as well, and you got Son as well. Um, Ash is saying Romero has the defended with most. Has he got more goals than Gabriel? Yeah, I think really? I think they might be the same. I've just got Romero because of well, I couldn't afford Poro, and I know Van der Ven's apparently meant to be coming back, but he could have a setback. Mm. So I've just gone with what's safe. I think there really. Mm. Um, what do you think Saka's ownership is going to be like now? Because I feel like lo loads of people are benching him or selling him this week. But it was due to, I don't know if he did, I haven't seen the prices over, overnight, but it was due to go down overnight. Mm. Yeah. So he's being sold. Have you got Saka on wildcard? No, but I am going to take Son out for Saka next week. Yeah. Who's oh, your fifth midfielder? 
Garnacho. Oh, you got Garnacho. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Saka's Saka's a, a interesting one because mm-hmm. after this week, the fixtures are still decent. Yeah. I'm trying to think from our perspective, like what do we gain on people who are free hitting in game week 34? And with a draft like that, you don't really gain much because I've got like Foden. I mean, I've got Saka, but I'm considering benching him. Yeah. Um. There's not really much that I gain on you. I've got Salah, Son, Palmer, Foden, and Saka in my midfield. Your defense is better than mine, but I've got Poro and Gabriel in there. I think Watkins. He's a big one this week. Yeah. He's, like, he's dropped Watkins. I don't have Watkins. Yeah. You don't, yeah. You haven't had Watkins, but like most people who like I've got, I've kept Watkins. I didn't wildcard this week because I took a hit last week to get Poro in. So I just like I'll just delay the wildcard. So I've got triple Spurs, Watkins. Haven't got Haaland this week, but that's the main one. I just hope I just hope he's like not. I just hope he doesn't go off against Arsenal. I can just see it happening, and then everyone will just like bring him in again, and everyone's captaining him again. It's just like it gets boring that way, you know. What I mean, Watkins go off against Arsenal? No, I mean Haaland go. Oh, Haaland go off. Yeah, oh, I would love that. I would love that because <laughs> loads of people don't have him. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. I think he could easily be under 100 percent owned because no one's yeah. captaining this week. Yeah, yeah, no, he'll be under 100 yeah. percent guaranteed. Yeah, he was like 60 well, last week, wasn't he? I, he might, I think he will be in the top 10, top 100k. But I think there are still a lot of people oh, yeah, who yeah. will just have it on uh, Haaland. Auto captains are still going to be in there, yeah. yeah. But like whatever he was last week, he'll go off by like twenty percent. Mm. I'm unsure the Solanke Darwin. What 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 do you think about? Because I was I was arm and arm between sort of them two with Watkins, Isaac. Isaac, yeah. yeah. Well, Isaac's, I'll, I'll, coming, oh, Isaac's coming. Oh, your Isaac's coming in in two weeks. I was just going to so say I'm going to take that. Darwin you, out you after. You can't trust week. Isaac. You can't. <laughs> you can't but what you about can't, Darwin? You have, you yeah, if you want Isaac, you have to get him in now. Yeah, because yeah. he could survive like a- another 120 minutes, and that's it. Yeah, you know, what I mean? you know who I if I if I was in your situation, the one I'd be going for um, is is Muniz. I wouldn't uh, Solanke. Yeah. I'm keeping because he's there for the double, but you don't need him for the double because you're free hitting. No, but he's got good good few fixtures. They've got three yeah. fixtures leading up. Yeah, um, I feel like and I, you know like when you've got bias towards a player, they've done well by you. Yeah. He's yeah, got yeah. I've got he's that with quality, him. man. Um, he, I, I had him for his brace against Forest. It was so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ex- well, I mean, I've got no bias towards Darwin, so I don't know why he's in there. He seems to <laughs> ruin me every time. <laughs> Have you, uh, were you like me? Have you had him in quite a lot of the season? Uh, bit, well, only bits where he doesn't seem to score. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, but I think somehow he's got, he's got double digits goals and assists. So I was like, he's oh, finished on. Like, where is he getting these he's, goals? Yeah. <laughs> I've never owned but, him. But, that, but that's the thing. The the problem everyone's got with Darwin is that yes, he he can blank, but I think more importantly, he he. Frustrates. He's actually so good that he gets so many chances. Like nobody creates. Like everyone's like, oh, he missed loads of chances. But as like someone like Gary Lineker says, like if you're creating, if you're getting yeah. chances, then you're doing well. The the yeah. problem strikers are the ones which just pass the game, pass them by, and they don't do nothing, yeah. and you don't see them. They're not going to be missing. Them. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I've had some unbelievably frustrating days with Darwin. Um, I remember that we went to an FPL meets day and and. Um, we were watching him against, uh, oh, I can't remember, but they, he was, he like, he smashed against the post. And yeah, yeah, was yeah. like, I was thinking with Mo, and he was just like, he's on one today. <laughs> Darwin is on one. Then he missed a second, then a third. Then it was like, oh, God, it's been one of those Darwin days. Oh, what was that game when he missed a penalty, hit the post New two times? Newcastle, yeah. Oh, yeah. the way yeah. I was like so happy that day. Oh, I hate Darwin so much, man. I can't um, stand him. But he has got he's got Brighton at home. Fish is unreal. And Sheffield they? United. So my plan is to play with them for that too and then get to Isak, I think. Um after that. Because I'm I'll probably be annoyed with him by then. <laughs> get rid of him. Um and then again looking towards that thirty seven bench boost with Isak, I think. Nice. I think it's probably best to so go to you, Josh, next, because uh, how you're well cutting next week. Yeah. So you've you're presumably Got your triple Spurs, triple Villa that you brought through from 29. That um, type of thing. At the minute, I think I've only got one Villa. Um, okay. So I'll read my team out in a sec. Uh, so for me this week, I've got actually double Villa. Sorry, I've got Martinez in goal with Wolves at home. Uh, back three of Zabani, the GOAT, uh, Doughty <laughs> and Pedro Porro. Uh, and then I've got a, f- a five-man midfield, Madison, Son, Bowen, Salah, Captain and Palmer. Uh, and then Tony and Watkins up top. So... Mm. Oh, Tony's going to be good this week. <clears throat> yeah, so I think it, it could be it could work well. Obviously, I, the main weakness is Doughty. I don't really like that I've got triple Spurs and then Doughty, but then my bench defenders are Charlie Taylor and suspended Regulon. So <laughs> it's, it's not looking. It, it's better than my defense. I'll give you that. <laughs> um, 
So how similar is your team next week going to look to Daryl's? Um, pretty similar, to be fair. I've got the same triple Chelsea. I probably will only go double Spurs just because I lose the Luton fixture next week because I've already got triple Spurs this week. And to be honest, I think like the triple Spurs that I've got this week is Porro, Madison and Son. That's like, probably like the best one that you'd go for if you had a like, limited budget. So, yeah. Uh, and then like the midfield is pretty similar. I didn't know if... I'll have, I'll have one or Foden or Saka. I'm just not sure which one yet. I think I'll probably do that same sort of transition of Foden or two Saka or the other way around sort of thing. So it should be interesting. Strikers, I think on mine, I had Haaland, Isaac, Darwin, and then I'd switch Darwin to Hoyland uh, for the double for 37. Okay. So. okay. And how much did it cost you guys having to prepare for, t- like, when we look back now on 29? Mm. Like, yes, the free hit didn't go well, but how much did it cost you having to bring in suboptimal players uh, for, for the week in the weeks coming up? How many hits did you have to take? Did you suffer? Like, what, did you get red arrows in those weeks? No, it, it worked really well, actually. Uh, mm. I got lucky. So I brought in, I was always planning to uh, wildcard straight after it. So I was sort of like dead ending into 29. Um, and I brought in players like uh, Bailey and Louise that went off, I think, that week. Um, I can't remember who they played, uh, but it was a week where I think Louise got a brace and Bailey got a goal and assist. Um, so it worked quite it quite nicely. I did miss the Bowen hat trick. I think that happened the week after. Um, but yeah, th- I think the Aston Villa and West Ham sort of went went quite well going towards it. It was just twenty nine. They all forgot how to <laughs> to kick the ball, didn't they? They, they, they all <laughs> turned into James. <laughs> Uh, how did you uh, do in the in the run up? Yeah, so similar thing. Mine was more the West Ham assets. I had Bowen for his hat trick. I brought him in that week, so that worked out really well. Um, had Ariola for his like thirteen pointer against Everton as well. Um, he's got that like, pen save. I'm just trying to have a look through Foden's eleven point. I did sell Foden for his uh, brace against United, uh, which wasn't ideal, but. Um, <laughs> Other than that, I think, yeah, to be honest, I feel like I came out on scale. Like, I'm ranked at what I'm at now, what I went into those game weeks. It was just like a fluctuation of going up to like just outside top 1K and then back out to like the 4K mark. So I think it's worked all right. I brought in Morris for Haaland, which obviously didn't work, but it was it worth the risk, done, weren't it? So yeah. yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I think, yeah, from from now until the end of the season, it's just got to be green, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Uh, we'll come to uh, Semini's... Um, other branch of the of the tactics, but I just want to because I haven't had much of a chance to uh, bring up the uh, the comments. Uh, so a couple of questions in the chat. So first of all, um, Podna is asking: Should we should he start Dubravka or Ariola, Daryl? Um, I would go. It's Newcastle at home, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, bra- it's a, they're playing each other, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So I would go Dubravka. I think just for the home advantage. Agreed, everyone. No. I mean, neither of them are keeping a clean sheet. No. Yeah. I, I'd go Ariola just because I feel like he'll get more save points because they're playing like Newcastle at home. I might yeah. agree with that. And like he he gets mad saves, Ariola. That's why he's one of the highest scoring keepers. They don't keep clean sheets. He just gets like nine saves every yeah. game. And also that works quite well because I've just looked at mine. Uh, you know, so when you got the Ariola thirteen, I actually benched him for the Bravka that week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so maybe don't listen to me. Go go with the Ariola then. <laughs> okay, so split decision on that one. Uh, I'd go to Bravka. So it's three one on the Bravka, but. Mr. Mr. One K is maybe the one to go yeah, to, to listen to. <laughs> um, uh, what have we got? Um, Ash Shaka has been. De- uh, if you if you weren't listening to my two news, uh, sorry, I had to go through quickly because some people in the studio are moaning. <laughs> um, but yeah, Saka is should be fine. Um, but he is in train. Um, All mine we'll, we'll games. Those see tomorrow. Tom knows his areolas. Um, your mum, your oh. mum's turning very inappropriate with the comments. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> what so, the hell does that mean? Not go there. Um, right. Uh, well, there was another one there. Hang on. Um, uh, oh, oh um, there was another one, but I've missed it. Thanks <coughs> for annoying people. Um, um, right. It's some effort, to be fair. Yeah, it's quite pathetic. Um, <laughs> can we go up a bit? Can you scroll up? Uh, Munoz or Palmer? Why not both? Yeah. yeah. Why, does it have, why does it have to be Munoz or Palmer? Presumably that's a who to play, but surely you've got to bench someone else other than Munoz or Palmer there. I mean, look, a lot of teams are stacked at the moment, but you've definitely got one of Foden or Saka. I would start, I would bench them over Munoz or Palmer. Yeah, well, Saka's on my bench, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'd bench any Arsenal City asset over those two. Yeah. yeah. Holland? Yeah. You'd would bench you? Holland over them? Uh, yeah, definitely. Wow. Play the fixture there. Yeah. And Podner with the uh, really important one question here, barbecue ribs or brisket? 
Ribs for me. Brisket for me. I've never had brisket, but it looks so damn nice. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl. Yeah, I'm not sure. What a bris- I'm not sure. Ribs are I, a bit ribs. Messy, I'll go ribs. I'm going ribs. No, Fine, brisket yeah. is like this slice up, like yeah. little thin strips of yeah, bread. It's not thin, but it's. Oh, you gotta watch the videos, man. I'm, I'm you ain't even I'm, ate it, man. I'm a bit of a foodie. <laughs> no, but it just, you, you know, when you can see something. You've seen it on TikTok. <laughs> they like, they, they smoke it for hours. It's, oh, it's like this thick hunk of. Well, we spent much longer than this than I was expecting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's more, like more analysis than that. Albin Oftal, hello, welcome to you. I haven't has seen, had the pleasure of seeing your comments before. Uh, so, Albin, Kelleha and from Salah my... for a minus four, yay or nay. Sim, to you first. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Salah for a minus four itself makes Depends sense. Depends who you exactly. take out, though, right? Yeah. 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 If you're taking out Son, probably not, but... I, you're right, yeah. If you're taking out I don't, Son... I, I, don't know if I'd hit, I don't know if I'd bring Salah in for a hit this week, just because there's so many good captaincy options. Like, I don't think he's, like, a must, necessarily. I, like, I think, to be honest, I think he's, like, o- like his uh, ownership at my rank, probably, like, 100% around he's, that. Is he, do you think? I, f- I think, well, he's so low owned at the minute. Like, he's like 25, this, 25%. Yeah, like, I just don't think everyone will go for him. And like a lot of people can't move to him without hitting as well. So for me, he makes sense. I think he's the best captain. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think he will, yeah, but like, do you, do you think he'll, ma- like, so do you think he'll score like one more goal than Palmer and Son? That's that's what a hit means, isn't it, really? Yeah. Well, but, no, but, but even, it's not, it's even not even just that. It, it means next week you don't have to bring him in. Yeah, but like you could probably bring him in for free next week. Yes, but then you might want to bring in, say, a, a, a you could bring in a, a Darwin or or a Luis Diaz or another, Liv, you know, yeah, uh, Virgil van Dijk. You don't, you don't need him to get it, one more goal. Yeah, than I've, I've never understood this whole thing of like, oh, you know, we well, could do it for free next week or why would we take a minus four? Well, yeah, but it's not just that. It means I've got another transfer next week. Yeah, that's that's huge for me. It also yeah. means what is he set up with? If he's not got the free hit in thirty four, then it's setting yeah. him up for the long term as well. Definitely, it? So definitely, definitely team dependent. Isn't it? it depends. It depends who you're setting. Um, it depends who you're selling as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can't believe you guys got the real graduates. Josh, on you know he's four K in the world. Yes, that is true. Uh, uh, yeah, Scott. and by the way, FPL with Scott LM mate. Pundit, Great to see ya. Pundit Scott. I hope you're doing well, mate. Really. Uh, right. Um. Guys and girls, just to be aware, we are into the last half hour, 28 minutes to okay. go. Um, so over to you, Simi boy. Yes. Um, you free hit 29 like me. You're about to ask me a question. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yes. Um, so um, you're planning on, so you're, how, you're going to be wild carding in 35, bench boosting, 35 or 36, and then bench boosting 37, correct? That is correct. So how are the, um, you, how are you set up? And how are you, um, what transfers are you planning and when are you kind of penciling them in and leading up to 34? Because I think this is really useful for everyone at home. So currently lining up with Leno Poro Kirkes, the not goat, mm. the anti-goat. <laughs> the donut. <laughs> the donut. <laughs> Poro uh, Kirkes and Gabriel in defense, midfield of Saka, Foden, Palmer, Salah, Son, Fang. <laughs> and a front two of Salanki and Holland. Uh, just ding the midfield that everyone's got. No, but that midfield. That no, midfield. no, all that's, five. The, that's the power five. All five. Yeah, all five of them. Everyone's got three or four. Yeah. But my boy, <laughs> he, someone in here has got all five. Man, mm. I'll take Madison over Foden and Saka this week. Listen, <laughs> listen. I will chat to you after the City, City <laughs> Arsenal game. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with my team. I did take a minus four for Salah, actually. Uh, but I was selling De Bruyne and Pedro Neto. No so Pedro Neto wasn't going to play... Um, De Bruyne has just been a nightmare Mid. over the last couple of game weeks. So, and the Salah and Son were both going up in price. So, yeah. got that done. Start of the international break, and yeah, I've had a very rough uh, March. Um, the fr- no free hit strategy worked for some people and didn't work for others, and it just really didn't work for me. I you mean the free hit strategy? Sorry, the free hit strategy. Yes. I have had, since game week 24, I had like four red arrows, five red arrows on the bounce. So it's been... Where are you now? 500k at the moment. 500. So I've had two green arrows in the last two game weeks. Um, But look, the way I play, I can fly. Like, I, I have no doubt I can get sneak back into top 200k. And after that, anything after that is just, just like, just what happens. But... Um, plans moving forward is to eventually sell Son and Foden probably closer to game week 34 deadline pick up possibly Havertz Havertz like with that. a double yeah possible um, I need to deal with the defence that's where most of the transfers are going to go many, how many doublers have you got 
right now. Right now? Not including Kirkes. Not including Kirkes, who is probably not going to double. He's not a doubler, is he? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's in my team. I say that as someone who's also... Oh, got Kelleher, who's a doubt. He's Yeah, he's a big doubt now. Um, I've got Gabriel. I've got Saka, Saka Foden, Salah, Solanke, Haaland, Semenya. So I've got eight. Right. Foden, are they, Foden's not doubling in Sorry, though, Foden's not doubling. Foden's not doubling. Haaland's not doubling either. Hold up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Someone tell me who's doubling. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> no, right. you, surely not. No, because it's in my head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. We're going to count Kelleher. Kelleher, are Gabriel. You? Okay. I'm going to count for now. You're going to be uh, so upset. Cause cause, so cool. Yeah. If he's not, it is what it is. But uh, Kelleher, Gabriel, Saka, I was about to say Palmer there, Salah, Solanke, and Semenya. So I've got six. So if I pick up three more, I'll be fine. And which three are you looking at? Havertz or Saliba or Ben White. Sorry, actually, not Saliba. So one of them two. Um, oh, I made a plan. Eze. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's number two. And then number three is likely going to be another defender because I'm I'm only going to sell Palmer and sorry, I'm only going to sell Son and Foden. I love that Munoz from Palace. He looks so yeah. good. In yeah. that. Him, him and Mitchell, like if you want to go proper differential, probably for more for free hitters, yeah. having Mitchell and Munoz in that double, they're both, like they're numbers since the new managers come in, like ridiculously going forward. So yeah, yeah, like both of them. So yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll be a new defender. Nice. And then possibly a goalkeeper. But I've got enough transfers, right? I've got the game 31 transfer, 32 and 33. So I've got three transfers to pick up three players. And then a minus four will bring me in goalkeeper if I need to. Mm. Nice. Nice. So, yeah, okay, I'll just quickly... I have to go now. All right, I'll do, quickly do uh, my one at the moment. Um, so I've got uh, Kelleher in goal. Kelleher. The guy's not going to play in game week 34. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ariola's my backup. Um, my defense this week is what I, where I need your, your guys' help because I don't know what to do. Uh, so I, at the moment I've got playing at the moment I'm well I've got <laughs> Doughty, Kirkes, and Walker, Ooh. but obviously that's about that's what I want to talk to you about Walker um, with Gabriel and Saliba those my big defenders but they've yeah. um, got to be benched this week right? Well, they're they not going to at the moment. Well, we're going to see. Uh, then I've got the power five: Saka, Salah, Foden, Palmerson. Yeah. Um, although I'm going to bench Saka. And I'm going to play uh, Semenyo with Solanke in Holland. He's not playing Semenyo, but I think uh, Semenyo home against Everton. Or Everton is better than Saka away at Liverpool, uh, at City. But that's Fair. it's not necessarily. But as an Arsenal fan, I'll be happy, you know, if Saka <laughs> wins way. anyway. So yeah, um, not either way. I'd still be <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if, if we lose against City, I'll be distraught no matter what about the FPL. Um, so yeah. So I've got that though, yeah. The sort of the front eight, I'm I'm relative, I'm happy with. Um, it's just my defense where I need mm. your help. So, um, one for Doughty, Doughty will play. Open for an attack and return, and I think that's got quite got got. I think you don't like it, but I think that's because you got triple Spurs. Yeah, I think he's got quite a good chance against Spurs with it for an attack they, and return. No they, clean sheet. Hope, <clears> but they haven't failed to score since like the start of November. Losing. Exactly, they're like unreal going forwards. It's yeah. just the defense that's shocking. Yeah. So Kirk is, I'm praying, but realistically, he's probably going to be uh, donating again. He's probably Aaron, going to donate. Aaron's and Kelly are back as well now. Yeah, so. exactly. So he's probably a, a problem. So Gabriel will come in. Um, and now I've done Sal already, brought him in for Gordon. Mm. Um, that was planned for a long time because I had the money just do it as a straight one up without yeah, taking yeah. a hit. Um, and now it's a question of, right, so I've got Walker. Like He was clutching his hamstring like he's out for a few weeks right uh, yeah. Guardiola even said I think he's is more substantial than Stones so. oh did he yeah. right okay good so I'm thinking Munoz yeah I like it the only problem with him well the problem with Palace defenders is that 32 and 33 they face City and Liverpool yes but I can bench him easily yeah because I've got Gabriel Saliba if and... you can bench him for those weeks I don't think there's necessarily yeah. a better pick in defence at the minute yeah so I'm going Gabriel Saliba and then by the time 32, 33 comes around I will bring in someone like Van Dijk yeah. Do you, yeah. Do, and do, sorry, do you have free hit 34? No, I've used that. You've used that. So, yeah, my my free, my double, eight double Nuri's for 34. Well. Yeah, as I say, eight Nuri. Eight Nuri he's yeah. playing like left wing, basically. Yeah. yeah, and he's probably the one I'll bring in, but I don't, he's I don't think they get clean sheet against Bournemouth. 
no. away at Bournemouth. No, sorry. Uh, who are they playing? Um, oh, good Wolves. Oh, wait, Aston Villa. Don't like that. Yeah, not, the, not this so week. Not this yeah. week, but he's yeah. probably the one I'm looking at uh, to, to bring in. Um, or a Liverpool defender. It depends. Um, yeah, Kelleher's a worry. Um, but if my doublers are Kelleher, possibly. Gabriel Saliba uh, would be Munoz if I bring him in. Kirkes doesn't count, so I'm not counting him. Saka, Salah, Semenyo, Solanke. So that's eight. Mm -hmm. um, Decent. That's, and you're not free. Hit, like you're not free hit, right? Exactly, yeah. So I've got eight there, and it just means if I bring in <coughs> a defender, nine, yeah. uh, and then I'll probably take out uh, Son and probably Foden, because I've got too much value tied up in Palmer, yeah. um, and have um, Ezra and and um i'm thinking of luis diaz yeah that sounds good there's a lot of single game week players as well that are decent that week like man united, man united have got sheffield united at home yeah. like that's a fixture that like i would probably like to target but then like you're always going to take a doubler over exactly. a single game week yeah so, if i was free hitting i would definitely have a, a man united in there like garnacho's dirt cheap I think you'd end, you'd end up if you were free hitting and you and you do that because of its price. Would you if you're free hitting? Would you you're doing it, you guys? Mm. Are you not going to end up benching Garnacho? Hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, you'll yeah. play. You'll probably play three four three that week. If he was if he was eight million, you'd play him. Mm. But it's that psychological thing of him being so cheap. I, 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 I tweeted that this week actually. I tweeted that like if Cole Palmer was nine million, wouldn't more people be captain him this yeah. week? Yeah. Like he's got a home fixture against Burnley, yeah. on penalties. Yeah. I think everyone's a bit uh, worried about doubles as well this this season. They haven't been great, have they? Not really haven't paid you. No. Third, third time yeah. lucky, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> the old gambler's uh, <laughs> viewpoint. They'll come next time. <laughs> it's still good. You're one, one win away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so um, Minio's in for Walker. Who have who Palace yeah, got this week? I think week? it's okay. I mean... Uh, it's Forrest. Mm. Defensive Forrest. Yeah. Uh, Forest do struggle to score, to be fair, but it's just Palace. Will they keep a clean sheet? But is it? I'm just thinking. That, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm you're hoping. You're I'm hoping. To, I'm hoping to break even on it. Yeah. Right now, my other question for you is: I'm currently fourth in the Juice Legends monthly, right? Behind that. And for everyone who doesn't know, by the way, if you are in a Juice Legends league, um. Every monthly winner, thanks to uh, the wonderful guys at Signed Football Shirts, um, get a signed football shirt of your choice. Um, is it worth ruining my season and bench boosting? <laughs> uh, nah, surely not. What you got? You got the double Arsenal defence. I'm 20 points behind though, and I think the guy's going to wild card, so I think I'm screwed anyway. Mm -hmm. Top guy. Yeah. To, to be fair, when you said your defence and then named Gabriel and Saliba on the bench, I just thought play both of them and then like if you luck out and Arsenal will somehow manage to keep a clean sheet away at City yeah but like it wouldn't like, I just don't uh, to be fair in the uh, Le Bon this week I have predicted a 4-0 City win but, <laughs> 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 um, but yeah like I, I I can't call that game that's why I just got rid of all my assets like, I yeah. just hate having assets from a game that you can't call like mm -hmm. it just makes no sense so yeah it's up to you man double Arsenal defence you'll be so differential imagine the upside <laughs> Imagine the pain as an Arsenal fan. Um, It'll be someone rubbish as well, like Rodri who scores in mm. like the 88th minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We shall see. <laughs> right. Uh, you ain't got long, mate. 15 No, minutes. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to do it. Goodbye, <laughs> Walker. Hello, Munoz. Done. Right. There you go. Okay, so I've got, yeah, Munoz, Kirkes, and Doughty. What back three that is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right. Okay. I'm a quick look at the, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, looking at that, everyone who hasn't done that, please. Can you give, um, the stream a like and a subscribe and if yeah, TikTok sim raid, sim raid after his little thing, come and join us. Yeah. <laughs> Trippier update. Uh, Trippier, um, is, is, is a, is a possibility. He is, um, uh, the uh, house said that yeah he's you not know, house like he doesn't really gonna but he did say that he's in training and we'll see. He's in training and we'll see. That's what Trippier meant. Okay. Eddie Howe lies. Don't Eddie trust him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But the, yeah, when he said about Gordon. Yeah, Gordon's been injured for every deadline for like the last ten weeks. Like it's been mental. Yeah. If you listen to uh, certain fake IGKs, I will. 
um, <laughs> then, um, you know, he was he was out for six months because this guy is in the know. <laughs> he's the only he's man done to have done his ACL, ACL three times in one season. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Um, right. Cool. So Loads let's have a questions. quick check on um, our our streamers. Not had any no breaking news at the moment, is there? Nothing. Nothing's coming. No in. one cares about Newcastle West Ham team news though, do they? No, and there's and nothing about three o'clock. Nothing, nothing coming. Keep, but keep, keep your eye on out on uh, on Twitter and, and we'll WhatsApp chats. But meanwhile, let's have a quick check on. Uh, sorry, yeah. So do please uh, like and subscribe. It is really important. It does really help us out. Um, uh, and yeah, so give us a like and a subscribe on YouTube, please. Or if you're watching from t uh, X, Twitter, whatever, hello. Uh, although I'm not even sure we're live on there, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at what Oscar Fo FBL Focal is saying. Got a Tuesday deadline, so I've got a lot of videos to do and a, a tight turnaround. Uh, Jago says, still in the Focal Cup after beating you in Game Week 23. Oh, thanks for the reminder, Jago. They knocked me out of the cup. Rigged. Yeah, fair play. Hopefully go all the way. I mean, you're doing well to still be in it. I feel like that was a while ago. That was a good month or, or so ago, wasn't it? The Darwin Theory or Big Dom on the wild card. I'd have both on a wild card, I think. If I had to pick one, I think I'd rather have Darwin just about do you edit your videos? Yeah, I do everything myself. I'm a one-man band. I edit every video myself. I don't know if Reese James will play uh, again. And I'm doing season. like shorts. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Mm. Well, Gusto's a... Gusto, yeah. Gu Gu Gusto if I was on, on your strategy, Gusto, I would, that's what I'd be wildcarding this yeah. week for Chelsea players. Yeah. I've got one. One at the minute. Yeah. Palmer. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Gusto, Gusto absolutely now. So, we're, well, we're going to count that. Ten hours ago. Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, breaking news from ten hours ago. I thought we just found something out then. All oh, right, no, but yeah. Um. Gordon's not done his ACL. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news. Yeah, Gordon not done his ACL. Nice. Uh, right. Uh, let's have a look at. Let's talk Andy. Arsenal players already set. Would you consider two Arsenal in attack? Yes. Yeah. I actually, I don't think, apart from Luton at home, I don't think Arsenal defense is going to be that great anyway, necessarily. I don't like Andy. <laughs> uh, Bradley or Gusto, dead end 34, wildcard 35. Gusto, I think. Yeah, like, I, I just, I don't know. Like, there is a world maybe where Bradley's a good option for, for 34, but yeah, maybe Bradley for the next two and then and then reassess. Reese James, I just don't see him being back by 34 at all. So at least you get Gusto the whole way through. But well, Andy, 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 well, Andy. Andy. James news. <laughs> uh, Gordon on <laughs> I think Gordon is. So just for Andy, breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, see, for Andy, you. for anyone coming in from Andy, uh, breaking news from yesterday. Um, yeah, he's out apparently. And Poched Gordon's not done his ACL. So massive. Uh, right, FPL Harry. He hasn't. Ooh. Doesn't always. Actually, Botman's the one who posts. He's playing Trippier. He's won wild card this week. I think. Saka over Garnacha this week. I would play Saka. Interesting. Oh, it's a big call that. Yeah, that is a big call. He's on a wild card. I think so. Can't be. No, he's not. No, no can't be. I, thought, I think he's I only posted like, that Harvey Barnes and Livermento have arrived, and it was those three that he said were. What do you think about, uh, you know, Bradley. in contention? So, Oof. Bradley, yeah. I mean, if I didn't, I think he's a great option for the next two weeks. Great yeah. option for the next two weeks, and if I was on wild card, I'd definitely consider him. Apparently, I've seen somewhere that Trent's aiming to be back for the Palace game, not the United game. So that would be thirty-three. Mm. United's. 30, 32. 32. Yeah. Right. So I, th I think like if you're on wildcard this week, I'd probably just go for it. But you can't have Kelleher. In here. That's what I mean. I've got Keller. So I was You've like, got to have one or yeah, the other. Yeah. And also, I guess he could be rotated. Like Joe Gomez could play out of position. Yeah. But then Robertson's, but then Robertson's not Robertson's, fit, yeah. fit this week. So you're probably going to see Bradley and Gomez, I think. Right? Yes. Yeah, I agree. I have a question for the juice panel. Uh, who would you play out of Saka and Semenya? Semenya. He's he's starting. I'm Semenya. I'm I we talked about this after you left because you're doing Saka over Semenyo. I'm doing Semenyo over Saka. 
So you're starting something you're yeah. soccer. How about what would you do? Um, I like to favour better teams. Mm. So <laughs> I would probably go Saka. Mm. I think I think they could get a goal when Saka's probably involved. So one vote for Saka, one vote for Semenyo, Mr. 4,000. <laughs> Mr. 1,000. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Um, yeah, the breezes too. I'd go Saka. <laughs> you go Saka. Yeah, if, yeah. Okay. Would your either of your opinions change if it was up against Tony or Garnacho? I'd definitely go Garnacho. Yeah. I'd definitely start and, and, and I'd probably definitely go Tony as well. Because yeah. you've got a penalty taker there as well. Okay, that's what I've been saying. That's yeah. basically what I've been saying. Okay. You heard that, guys. Are you are you now going to change your team? No, no. Okay. I'm, I'm very, very he's not influenced like that, <laughs> no, man. No. He's like sixty. Yeah. Benching Saka, Gabriel, and Saliba. No, you know I don't. Mate, man, Watkins is going to be such a big differential this week. I'm really? loving it. Wolves, Wolves are great against um against the top team, especially a high line, a high line Villa. They're seventh best defense away from home, actually. Yeah. Decent. Yeah. Not not convinced Watkins is that great, although <laughs> I've said that a few <laughs> times over the last few weeks, yep. and he's absolutely destroyed me. Um, well, well, oh yeah, and a quick check on FBR era. Hope it does well for you. Sal Sal Augusto Moon is in for KDB Doughty Solanke. Probably wouldn't have got Solanke if you could have done the minus four for KDB and Doughty to Goose and Salah, but you probably did need the money, so that's all right. KDB to Diaz, no, you need you need Salah, I think. Yash Verdon, Wildcard Active, Petrovic, Kelleher, Gusto, Lascelles, Udagi, Eight, Nori, Gabriel, Son, Salah, Palmer, Saka, Garnacho, Isaac, Hallam, Munez. 1.9 of the bank, can't afford Nunes. Any other suggestions or tips? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Try to go a little uh, depends if you're free there, hitting in, yeah. in, 30, in 34, range. Yash. If you're not if you're not free hitting, get Darwin over Isaac. But if you are free hitting, you can get you can get Isaac in then as well, so that's okay. Uh He's wild card at this Maybe point. I should do Sun for the that's FBL it. challenger right oh, there. Sales, yeah. Dan is right. That's a good, that's a classic that's a good shout, actually. <laughs> um, I'll change to Sun. I'm going to yeah. do Salah for <laughs> FBL and I'll do, I'll do Sun for, for the challenge. Uh, what, you think there's a chance Livermento goes left back and Burn goes centre back? It still depends on Trippier's fitness, I think. If Trippier's fit, it becomes a, like, a problem. If not, the thing is, when Botman was out last time, though, he, he did play Lascelles, didn't he? Mm. Yeah, so and he's been talking Lascelles up, and he's Lascelles is still club captain. Yeah, club yeah. Captain. I don't. I thought, I, I thought I when he when he came in, he's all right. Anyway. He's been, he played well. Yeah, yeah it's not. As I, I, I'd, I, if I had, I'd be hundred percent done Lascelles. Yeah, same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's a great shout. Got loads of questions, man. Yes, right. Okay, let's have a quick look. Uh, Bowen or Saka out for Salah? Uh, Saka. I actually, I had really? To, I had to make that decision this week. Really? Is yeah. that this week? Uh, uh, just, yeah, but like for me, you're it's, you're it's, one, it's a one week. Yeah, it's a one week okay. thing. Uh, if it's not a wild card, I'd go Bowen. Correct. I'd go Saka's Bowen. Got next, yeah, yeah Saka, Saka's, you know, yeah, we're flying. Newcastle away, so. though, for Bowen. It's tasty. Is it? Yeah, their defence is so bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Colm, hello, mate. Colm is saying, my wild card team has two Spurs and two Chelsea. I'm looking to just play Palmer and Game at 34 unless I get rid of a Spurs asset before then. I think I think you could get rid of them thirty three. I think Spurs, like at least a couple of them. One what, of them. and then bring them back? Because judging by he doesn't have a free hit there, does well, he? It, no, because then he's not going to have a wild, he's wild carding afterwards. No, he's wild carding now, so you can't wild card afterwards. You'd have to bring them all back, wouldn't you? <laughs> Maybe. Um, I think you've seen the doubles though for that in that game week, like thirty six. Like they're, they're, the fixtures are terrible. Yeah, Spurs like got a couple of bad ones. Like they? really bad. I think it's like, isn't it like Chelsea and it's Liverpool? Liverpool? I think yeah, it's I think it's that. Like that's a Chelsea's look okay. I think Chelsea got a couple of. I think they got Brighton and Spurs. I think it's that. If I'm they pick up, sure. I don't know because uh, it's hard to know about Chelsea. You, you don't know what teams are going to turn up. Yeah. Um, yeah, they could they could end up losing to Burnley, can't they? This week, yeah. <laughs> when shot Ultimate. Me. Right. Who they, they they lost to someone at the bridge? Like who was it? Someone someone just pony at the bridge. A few like it was probably around Christmas or something. Oh, they lost loads of them. Yeah. Brentford and everything else. Yeah, that was it. It was Brentford. Brentford that was yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, no weak foot saying start Bailey or Semenyo. Tough one, that. I'd go Bailey. Yeah, he's a midfielder, so. Yeah. I'd I think if I had those two, I'd go Bailey, but I don't. I like Semenya as well. He's in my team. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd probably go Bailey. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Any more questions in there? Is Niall Plume, hello, mate. 
Uh, Niall is asking, is double Spurs defence worth the punt? Um, are you on a wild card? Um, and you'd suggest yes, because uh, you've got it. Yeah, I think there's enough chances throughout to take you to the end of the season that it will come good, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I hope. They're He's quite persuading himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still not sure about it. But uh, no, I think I think I would go for it. I mean, I am going you for are, it. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying I think I would. I know I, know I, am, I am. Yeah. Josh? Um, I don't hate it, to be fair. I think I prefer it than a double attack at the moment. Just because I, really? I just don't think there's like... Other than Son at the moment, like Richarlison's not fit. There's not. I don't he's know been what. Bit. Yeah, I know, but he's not like back into the team like with minutes under his belt. He didn't play once for Brazil, and he was called up there. So, yeah, I just don't know who I'd go for. Like Madison's not been the same since he's come back either. So, yeah. also this Richarlison, I don't know. I know everyone's saying that he might be fit, but I don't know if he's if he necessarily starts. I think there's a lot of. I think he'll be on the bench. Yeah. Yeah, today. I mean, and also like Werner's coming through. Uh, you know Johnson's Johnson, doing Kulisevsky. all right. Kulisevsky. He's not. He's not guaranteed to to start. I don't think he only started before. I think he got, he got, he got himself into a good run, didn't he? And mm. then uh, he was a bit undroppable at that point. Um, but I think he's. I don't think he's necessary. Um, like I said, I don't know if Spurs are are that that amazing. I think it's too open. Yeah. Um, as to who's going to start. I'd, t- I'd take. I'd defo take Porro and Ado- Adogi yeah. over. Maybe like I don't know Richarlison and Son at the moment. But then if Richarlison goes and plays the nine, 90 minutes today, mm. changes it a little bit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'd, I'd be going Richarlison and Son yeah. if I was a wild card in. Um, but there are a lot of lot of midfield options around. Yeah. That's the thing, I suppose. But I I just, I honestly, I mean, I, get, I suppose defence, I mean, I'm, I'm my hands obviously Arsenal fan, I might be biased here, but the stats suggest it. I mean, they've got, I think it's like, two clean sheets all season yeah yeah. Um, they don't keep clean sheets one was against United as well yeah um, I mean why why would you go double I mean I, with all due respect yeah, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't I, that one I that one I don't, I, but you're know, a better manager than me so um, no no it was I, 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 that's the one I don't really know I didn't know who to go with you got three it was, minutes it was eight <laughs> 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 like it could have been eight Nuri but I'd rather. I think I'm just going to gamble with it. It's different. Yeah, exactly. Um, you got to have something different. Otherwise, you're going to have the same team yeah. as everyone else. Yeah. I think also this with the Garnacha. I don't know. I know he's back, but it makes such a difference having him because he's just so cheap. Mm. Just opens mm. so many different avenues. Uh, Guaranteed to start every week. Yeah, and he, he seems to be getting better and better. He's become. He's like a key player for them now. It's like um, it's like against Everton. He got two assists from winning penalties. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. His fixtures are they're very strong. The only thing with Garnacha, I suppose, is that he, he he's. It's it's open play only, isn't it? Yeah, he's not. He's not on set, not, piece. not on set pieces. No. He's not going to be a threat from set pieces because he's about four foot two. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's it's. But he does look very good open play. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And don't forget, Anthony scored last game. Well, well, yeah, yeah. The first time ever, he actually had a good game. Yeah. It's good. He had to spin and hit. Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's good at spinning. Yeah. <laughs> Um, right, quickly, we've got two minutes to go. Any more questions in the chat? Let's have a quick look. Da, 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 da. Johnson won't play the moment. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay. Um, played two international matches. Okay. Um, um, uh, love to have, yeah. Uh, hi, Kieran. Nice to see you, mate. Um, right, there are no, sorry, I'm going through those quite quickly. I'm not reading match just because we've got two minutes to go. Um, so I was just looking to see if there are any last minute dilemmas that anyone has, has got. Um, but yeah, if you have not done so already, lock and load it. Get them done, guys. Um, Trippier's in the squad today. Trippier's in the squad. Yeah. Oh, breaking news! <laughs> <laughs> Trippier is in the squad. There you go. Um, and Harvey Barnes, if anyone wants him on challenge. I'm not going to hit that again for five minutes. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Trippier has arrived at St. James's. Trippier, therefore, if he's in the squad, he's surely going to be man, man goes to job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, interesting. Trippier. Would you not consider him on a wild card then? Just it's just the price. So much. It's so price. expensive for yeah. and for a defense that is absolutely shocking. Yeah. Like if they were if they were like last season where they're keeping clean sheets, but you're going double spurs instead. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've not really got a justification for it. It's literally like, a 50 seconds. Yeah, I know. I, I, you know I, and when I make last minute changes, it never works. So I'm sticking, I'm going to stick with what I went with um, and die by the sword, I think. Spurs Fair. sword. Yeah, yeah. I have no affiliation with it at all. Well, um, but yeah. I've, I've, Cue since, since I met you all of last week ago, I think you're a great bloke and I really like you, but I hope you, um, <laughs> As an Arsenal fan, I hope you absolutely flunk out <laughs> and um, they concede six against Lewis. Um, so there you go. Uh, right, 20 seconds to go, guys. Um, basically, we are there. It is time. Um, the deadline is basically here. Right. Oh, locked in on... What's this? Locked in on Salah? Yeah, okay, that's not a question. Who are you, Captain, this week? I'm on Salah. Who are you on? Salah. Yep, Salah. He's on Salah as well. Yeah. So you guys are going Salah over Son, yeah? Hundred percent. I've yeah. got triple Spurs anyway, which yeah. I think like sort of makes me push that way. And then I also think like he just doesn't. I, I know it's like not necessarily totally true, but he just doesn't play as well against low blocks, and that's all they're gonna do. Is just sit back. Yeah. Well, as you can see from the background, which I think makes it all look much better, um, the deadline has hit. Good luck, everyone. May your arrows be green. Um, right. Should we do some predictions? Do it. Let's do it. Let's have a look at the fixtures. Uh, right. Um, I think today we'll, as we're not in a rush, uh, we'll go, we want to talk about fancy challenge in a second, but we'll go through them in order of play. Uh, Newcastle against West Ham. Daryl, what is your prediction? Uh, I am going to go a 2-1 Newcastle. 2-1 Newcastle. Joshi Bue. 2-2. 2-2. Yeah. Not what I'm wearing. <laughs> or baby shark. Uh, I've gone two one, so I'm going with Daryl. Uh, Sim, yes. just in time for the predictions. Have you Literally, just, first just one of the week. Off, Newcastle again. Have, by the way, have you um, oh, you have done. You've done the bomb. You've done the bomb. What is your what, Newcastle West Ham prediction? Le bomb. Is it called Le Bomb? Le Bomb. Le Bomb. I thought that was like an acronym. I assume it is. Yeah, but you can just say it as a word. You don't have to say L E B O M because that's just long. I just called it the predictions app. The predictions <laughs> much shorter than the bomb. Um, the so yeah, Newcastle West Ham. T P A. That's what I call it. Uh, Newcastle West Ham. I have got down a three one Newcastle win. Ooh, mm -hmm. What's nice. the predictions in the house? Uh, two one two one oh. two two. Ah, so you're predicting a draw. Okay, three three one. I've come second two weeks in a row. Oh, I can, Reigning I champ. I came second Raining first champ. week and last week it was just a yeah, disaster. Joint second first. Hang on, you can't because I came second the first week. No, that's not true. I think a lot of us were on joint points. We might have been on joint points. But I was, I was, I I was one, I was I was one goal away team. from winning. Um, Bournemouth against Everton. Let's go reverse. Sim, Bournemouth against Everton. What are you thinking? Which would reverse you just... Bournemouth versus Everton. So what I've done is um, I've gone for a Bournemouth win, but I've I think both teams score, so I've gone two one. But whenever I say two one, it's basically because I'm I'm really unsure about what the score line is going to look like. I'm going to change mine. You definitely had two one. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he, co he copied me loads. Of no, right, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go next just because I said that. Um, I I've gone two two, but I did do this a few days ago. Um, and I was like, Everton's nah, Everton, Everton all twice. right, and I'll do that. But then I was looking into Everton assets leading up to 34. Have you seen their recent run? Well, their fixture run? No, as in their results. Their results. Very bad. They haven't won since game week 18. They, they don't no, but score they, goals. They, they create XG like animals. Like yeah. They, they, they're really good. They just can't put their chances away. It was like that um, when they faced West Ham at Goodison Park. They had like ridiculous, I think they had like 2.8 XG mm. and it, in, like until West Ham went and scored the second and then the mm. third. It was ridiculous. Yeah. They are just rubbish in front of goal. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going Bournemouth. I'm going 2 1 now. And that wasn't because of you. It's just I'm I looked at mine now. and went, oh. nah, I don't <laughs> so, see, I can't so, see everything. So you again, looked at your prediction. You heard my prediction. Fine, Change I'm going to go your different. mind. Screw you. I'm going to go different. But now. it wasn't because of me. Oh, okay. I'm going to go 3 1. You're going to go 3 1. There two. you go. Watch it now. It's gonna be eight and nine, eight and nine minute. <laughs> eight and nine minute through one. I'm gonna enjoy this one. This this Semenyo tax. Is yeah. Crazy. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, that might well be my uh, Semenyo and Solanke up front. I, uh, I almost talking. started him, but I couldn't do it. Uh, Josh, what are you saying? Uh, two nil Bournemouth. Two nil Bournemouth and Daryl. I think we're gonna go one one. One Ooh. one. Good draw. Yeah. Fair. Uh, You'd right. love a two nil, wouldn't you? Barney nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea against Burnley. Yeah, he's scoring the two goals as well. <laughs> Chelsea, Burnley, Daryl. Um, I'm going to go 
three nil Chelsea. Cleans. He loves his Gusto and Petrovic. Don't yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all got the unbus unconscious <laughs> bias, haven't we? Uh, Josh, what are you saying? Uh, three one Chelsea. And Sim. I want to hear yours first. <laughs> three nil. I've gone three nil. We are often aligned on these things, to be fair. Um, right, uh, Forest against Palace. Um, uh, Sim. Uh, Forest against Palace is my first away win. I'm going for 1-0 Palace. Nice. Josh? 1-1. One, one. Score draw. Um, Alisa's he's not back, is he? No. No, partial no. training. Eze's playing. Uh, but with the new manager. Mun- Munoz play. is playing. They Munoz play. is playing. So Palace... I thought Munoz was injured. No, he's, no. he's fine. Oh, he's you, fine. Got, you brought me Munoz in? I, I, I brought, brought Munoz in. Mate, he's, I watched he's him scored, come scored for Colombia as well in the internationals, didn't he? Did you see the goal he uh, scored? It was unreal. It was some C- scissor C- kick. C- oh, that beautiful. was unbelievable. Yeah, the work, the work down the left from, uh, C- from C- Diaz. C- Diaz. Yeah. And then, yeah, the, the break, the cross in, and then the scissor kick. Whoa. Yeah. What a South goal American goal. Oh, yeah. oh it was close. Um, I'm going to go 1-0 uh, one nil Palace. 1-0 nil Palace. I've, I've gone 1-1. One, one. Um, He's copying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go first next time. Um, I've gone one-one, um, and but yeah, um, I don't know why I've therefore brought Munoz in, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I put him down, I've given it one-nil. So you, you, you win every way. Yeah. Uh, right. I'm, uh, I'm Sheffield realizing. United against Fulham. I've gone three-nil Fulham because Sheffield United are just so bad. Daryl, uh, I'm gonna go two-one Fulham. Nice. Josh, I'm, I'm also 2 1 for them. Mm-hmm. Gustavo Hamer screams of it. I've predicted four clean sheets this game week, which just seems a little bit too high. There's, what, like, there's what, like one what's a your game score? week. Yeah. What's your score? I've gone 2 0 here for, for <laughs> Sheffield United. Sorry, for Fulham. I do have, uh, I'm, actually, I won't spoil it, but the fantasy challenge contradicts my prediction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. And... Got triple, triple Sheffield, or five Sheffield United. <laughs> <laughs> Tottenham Luton. Let's go to you first, Joshy Boy. Uh, three one Tottenham. I don't think they'll keep the clean. Yeah. Sim. <laughs> I don't think they keep the clean either. I've gone three two. Three two. I don't think they keep the clean. Either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I've just got some. Uh, I just got a text from my little my little nephew Sally, who's annoyed with me that I've just put down Spurs as well when I was saying that Richarlison is not very good. So <laughs> I have to give a shout out at Spurs. I thought your family were Arsenal. Well, just the nephew. There's nephew the black Spurs. super <laughs> family. Yeah. Uh, don't, live, don't live with the nephew. How old's so your nephew? Then? Uh, oh god you put me on the spot I think 10 year 5 year 6 oh, right, right. I don't know let's put him in that bracket, <laughs> in that bracket. <laughs> around there so I can't I can't have a go at him uh, right. you can have a go at him no no no, 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 no. Would, <laughs> the thing is would you be shocked if Spurs lost this game no no, not at all no. look I've got to back the clean sheet haven't I so I've got to go <laughs> I've got to go 3 nil. let's three go 3 nil. <laughs> 2 Romero headers yeah I'm I'm going to go uh, I think uh, Luton scared them, but then Spurs come away with a result and they yeah. win it 4 2. It, was, it, it will be like the Palace game, like from a couple of weeks ago, where they went, I think they go like 1 0 down until he has a free kick and then they'll just turn it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. What I'm thinking. Um, they are, well, as it is a Birmingham derby, even mm-hmm. though you're a born blue, but Barcelona traitor. It's a West Midlands derby. Wolves are not in Birmingham, they're in Wolverhampton. They have their own city. Fair. Um, Apologies. Come on, geography. Uh, <laughs> I've gone. Hang for on, a... hang on. Didn't didn't you ask if South End was in London? Oh. Listen, I'm I'm not calling you dumb. I'm just correcting. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't need to take a person. Any knows Midlands <laughs> and Barcelona, <laughs> 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 or the Catalonia area in general. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone for a Aston Villa win two one, but tough to call. Tough to call. Josh, one nil Villa. Uh, I'm going to go 2 1. Villa, I assume. Villa, Villa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I've yeah. gone for a 1 1 draw. Um, you know what? I'd like to change to a 1 1 as well. Too late. I think I will. No, I, you're not I, still, I still have time. No, see, copycat. The Le Bomb this week is going to be the same scores. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brentford against Man United. Uh, Sim, let's go to you first. Brentford versus Man United. <laughs> I've got, I'm sorry, I've yeah, gone for I, a Brentford win. He's a hater, man. I've gone for a 2 1 Brentford win. He's still jealous that we knocked him out of the Europa League last year. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Uh three one United. And Daryl. Two one United. A couple of Garnetto goals. Well, I hate to be uh almost aligned with with Sim. Draw. Three two. Uh, two. Oh, Brentford. 
Oh. As long as Tony scores, I don't care. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I uh, do. Do you do, FPL or, or or United? Nah, like United first, one hundred percent. But like, with the weight, like we're just not gonna get Europe this year. Like it's gonna take. Even, you don't think you're, you're not get gonna anything. get Europe. No, we're not gonna get Champions League. I don't class Europa League as Europe. Man. Yeah. Just, so, like, how how far away are they from? Because fifth, five teams. Just get second. Right? Got it, his it, bragging it, about it, mocking it, the start of the Europa <laughs> League. <laughs> <laughs> Still didn't win it though. Like it, I've just seen too many Europa League campaigns where we nearly win it. Like <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. so annoying. Yeah. Like De Gea missing the penalty in the oh, final. God, we just get knocked oh. out to Sevilla every time. <laughs> it's so painful. De Gea missing a penalty. Don't you remember yeah, that? Yeah, eleven yeah. eleven shoot, shoot each penalty shootout. He didn't save one penalty and then missed his penalty. He, he, <laughs> no, I remember. I remember the, the I remember worst Chelsea, penalty I remember, saving um, keeper ever. Ke- I remember Kepa doing that. No, when no, he came, when com- he got brought on, and uh, Gea, he, he stayed on. He was going to get taken off. Oh, was yeah, 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 no, no, that was, was that was a while ago. Carlin yeah. Cup. Yeah. Uh, was, was it Carlin Cup? Was, was, was it Carabao? Not you. I was at UNO. There's a lot of COVID. I'm with him. Yeah, yeah, you knew it. No, um, yeah. What was yeah, the milk cup? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't the one who was the one that was a penalty when uh, it was like Liverpool? They played someone in the cup final. Oh, mate, do you, it was like Liverpool was it against Chelsea. Kelleher, wasn't it? Well, yeah. No, Carrius. And who was the who was the uh, when Van Dyke scored that goal, that penalty? Dude, I know the goalie exactly basically about. stood. It was up oh, against yeah, Kepa. It was up against Kepa. He stood against the post basically. One side, the post is right here. Van Dyke put it right next to his head. Is best thing ever. Anyway. We digress. I'm him. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right, where did we get up to? Um, United. So we've done the United one. You said 3-2 United. I said 3-2 United. I uh, said 2-1. You said 2-1. You said... Sorry, you said 3-2 Brentford. I said 3-2 Brentford. You said 2-1 United. You said 2-1 Brentford. You said 3-1, 3-1. United. Uh, right, Liverpool against Brighton. You're away from home. Daryl. Um, we got Cubby Mind. go 3-1 <laughs> Liverpool. 3-1 Liverpool. Joshy. Uh, I've gone 4 2 Liverpool. 4 2, big high scoring fest. game. Mm, nice. And same. Backing a clean sheet here. Which I, 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 don't know, I, don't know, I don't know if that's right, but I'm backing the clean sheet. Um, I'm going 3 0. 3 0. Liverpool. Mm. Um, I... Zerbi's got a great record against Klopp. Like, really good. At Anfield, though? Well, yeah, no, I'm still going. I'm still going for a Liverpool win. So I'm going, to, but I'm. I think Salah, it'll be tight. Salah and I'm with. I'm with Colm oh, and Nile. Um, uh, oh, no, I just changed his mind. <laughs> not with Nile. He heard, he heard um, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going. No, 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 no. Um, so Nile sensibly changed his uh, his opinion away from me. But yeah, I'm going two one uh, two one Liverpool. And one. finally, the money game. The absolute. You know what's gotten about this. Right? You'll, said, you'll be back in Arsenal when no, the no, 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 no. What's gotten about this is my uh, my sister turned around to me last week and uh, invites me and we're having a family Easter meal. And I was like, yeah, sure, because we always do evening meals, something like that. We're all right. And I'm like, yeah, sure, yeah, we'll be, we'll so be there. Start at two o'clock. Yeah, what time? <laughs> <laughs> Three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just tell so I'm actually going to have to, and I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to uh, switch off the phone. Um, none of my family really care about football. So I'm going to switch switch off the phone and I'm going to record and I'm going to watch it later and someone's going to ruin it for me oh. 10 seconds before I watch it. Somehow oh. I'll accidentally hit the phone or something or I'll try and find it and then it's the Sky news. Sports yeah. News yeah. or something stupid. Um, but yeah, Manchester City against Arsenal. It's the only bit... There's the, am I right thinking it's the only t- last one of the top three facing each other? Liverpool, Liverpool face, Arsenal. face Arsenal next summer. Oh, do we? Ne- yeah. Or soon. Not maybe not next. Not next. Right. Oh yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. next couple of weeks though. No, yeah, yeah. You guys have a tough run in. Yeah, we do. Playing, you're playing Liverpool, City. And there's Spurs, like some Villa and Spurs. United, and things. Villa, Brighton or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You're not winning. It's not United to get through points. Um but anyway, City against Arsenal. Daryl comes to you first. Um I want Arsenal to do something. Yeah boy. Uh City are just a well oiled machine though. They get to this stage of the season. I'm gonna go one nil City. One nil City. What a boring game that is, isn't it? That's mm. that's that Rodri eighty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Josh, uh, I'd equally like Arsenal to do something, but I've gone for a Man City four nil win. Oh, oh, wow, that would be humiliating against the tightest defense in the league. Yeah, yeah, but it's City like they'll just break you down. Mm. No, but that'll be that'll be that'll be humiliating. Sim. Um. That did happen last season as well. Didn't I know. It? They went there absolutely. And absolutely got, was it what it was? Four nil. Towards the end of the season. Is that De Bruyne or Haaland? Oh, that was that was three nil. Thank you very much. <laughs> was it four? Was it four? Have its have its own goal this time. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Oh, this is oh this is so difficult to call. But no stones, no Walker. 
But I mean, oh, they're yeah. just bringing their other. F- oh, yeah, <laughs> they're bringing their other fifty million pound defenders. But who, who could? I mean, the thing is, the good thing is, it's Martinelli on that side, so it's not that deep, you know. If he plays, if he plays, or Trossard, but whoever it is, it's not that. It's not. It's not like it's, they're up against Saka, you know what I mean? Um, and Ake tends to deal with Saka quite well. Uh, it's. Um, I don't know how Arsenal will go there and don't score. So I'm going to say 2-1. Because Arsenal, Arsenal have to. Someone has to. They, they have to. They have to. There's no way There's no way that Arsenal like whimper out of this title race as well. Um, well. So I'm going to say 2-1 to City. What is... As, uh, what, sorry. Without Stones and Walker, what do they start then? They're back four. Kanji, Diaz. Ake. And Guardiola. Guardiola. Still but very if, strong. If, 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 the problem is if Guardiola plays... There'll be Vardio against Saka. And if, if Vardio starts, I think Saka can get some joy. Or they'll, do, or they'll do Lewis right yeah. right back and bring him into midfield. They'll definitely yeah. lose, they'll lose if that happens. You think? Yeah. Nah, but I've got this weird thing that they're going to do something strange. He always does. Like last season, they went long ball. Yeah. Um, They'll do something very different. Yeah. Um, And yeah, as an Arsenal fan, I am backing 2-0 City. You're backing it. No, us. you can't. Um, that's no. It's not because I'm backing, but I, that's what I think will happen. I think they'll be. You don't think you'll score? That's ridiculous. I, I just don't see because I, 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 I have to score. I've got this weird feeling. I think Arteta is going to try and play too defensively, and then they'll get they'll just keep the ball and their closes down, and then we'll, we'll, I, you know, I, I, I think he'll be a back three, and then he'll play Kovacic and Rodri. The only, I think the only way you beat City is like how Liverpool do it, and just go for it. Like yeah, you, you, can't, you, you, can't, you can't, you can't like. Like you, like what United did. Like the only reason that was so low scoring is because we just sat eleven men behind the ball, and then we just couldn't. It was just a matter of time before they scored. Yeah, but you, you, yeah. even Liverpool don't do that successfully at the Etihad. No, you, you're not gonna go to the Etihad and go for City and win. It's just not gonna happen. You just need you just need to cause like chaos. Yeah. You remember that year when like Mane's like booting Edison and <laughs> like, something, <laughs> something like that needs to happen. Do you know what I mean? For it to like just they still lost that game, didn't they? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's but like at least it makes it entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! It's 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 a difficult game, but I think I think it's the right time to try to catch City out. If you do it, uh, then you got a good shot. But and Mum, also known as FPL Onions, <laughs> screw you with your ten nil prediction. <laughs> um, right, right at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So those are the predictions. Um, so I mean, we are already at quarter past eleven, but there is one rather large thing that still we've got to talk about. That's what she said. Um, right, FPL challenge. Well, hey, should I tell the people about the hack? Do you know about the hack? I, I, is, is I've got the, the hack lined up. I've got the hack lined you? up too. But oh. there's there's little there's little things I found out last night about the hack. Who's so that? first of all, let's let's let me introduce the the game and then oh. you can talk about the hack. So uh, FPL Challenge is the new game from uh, from FPL, whereby you can uh, basically it's a sort of free hit every week um, with different challenges. So this week is unlimited uh, budget. Uh, next week forwards will score double, and the week after is Man United Liverpool scoring double points, which is just weak if you ask me as a as an option. But there you go. Um, so yeah, so basically you uh, play a free hit. Um, and you, there, there are some differences. The scoring system is all the same, um, but the big thing, which is clearly what they're trying to do, they are doing this to get engagement over the weekend through through the website. Essentially, what FPL is for. We all think it's for a game. It's not. It's to create traffic to the to the Premier League, to the website, to the get, you know, to everything. Um, and this is their, I think, their way of doing. Uh, create, create more more traffic during the weekend. So basically, you will be allowed to make transfers and substitutes um, up until a team's player's game has kicked off. So, for example, um, you can bring in uh, Liverpool players uh, any and Brighton players anytime up until Sunday two o'clock. Um, the Arsenal and City get players you can bring in anytime up until five four thirty on the Sunday. Um, so it's a much more sort of engaged, almost like Champions League style um, uh, fantasy game. Um, so yeah, it's not quite as simple as as your usual stuff. However, there has been uh, discovered that obviously due to these rules, there is a cheeky little hack you can do. Sim, over to you. So uh, the, the, it's basically messing around with the lack of a deadline. You're, it's If you guys remember playing the World Cup um, fantasy thing, Players are locked and unlocked, essentially. And up until that person or that person's fixture kicks off, 
the player is unlocked and can be sold. So if you captain a player who you know won't play, for example, Mitoma, which I should have changed. Actually, I still have time to change. Um, it's still an hour. Yeah. So if you captain Mitoma and you vice captain Son, Son will kick off at three o'clock. Mitoma will kick off tonight or tomorrow? It's meant to be tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, two o'clock. Tomorrow, two o'clock. So you'll know what Son got. Mitoma will still have not started playing. He'll have the captain. Son will have the vice captain. So if Son hauls, you just leave your team and Mitoma's vi- captaincy will switch on to Son for vice captain. If, if Son blanks or doesn't do well enough, you sell Mitoma and just move the captaincy to Salah. So you basically get two shots at the captaincy, but you can also do that with your lineup. So you have, for example, defenders like Trent and Timber in your starting lineup, and you have maybe Spurs defenders, uh, Chelsea defenders on your bench. If Spurs and Chelsea do well, you let your auto subs come in. If they don't do well, you go for it again next week. So not next week, for a later fixture, something at 5.30, something tomorrow. But that's essentially what you can do to try to cheat Mm. the system. But the one thing I found out last night Mm-hmm. Is that if you if you do make subs or transfers, mm. then the auto subs won't happen. Where did did you see that in the rules? Yeah, someone posted it. Someone posted a screenshot of the rules. So if you make subs or transfers, <coughs> then your auto subs won't happen. So with the hack, it's a do it or don't. Trippier so doesn't start. You, they've Trippier doesn't start. Doesn't start. Ooh, breaking news. I've got both teams if you want me to read them out. Oh, yeah, so we go. So we've got the team news. So uh, we'll go teams, with Newcastle so. first. Uh, Dubravka, Livramento, Lascelles, Shah, Byrne, Bruno G, Longstaff, Willock, Gordon, Isaac, Murphy. So no Trippier. Livramento starts. Lascelles obviously starts. Um, and then we've got Fabianski, Soufal, Zuma, Mavropanos. What? Sorry, what? <laughs> what? Fabianski? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fuck you, Ariola orders. Oh, I should be swearing on faster. <laughs> wow. Go to hell, Ariola orders. But that's all right, though, because most people would have Ariola or Dubravka, and then it takes away that 50 50 decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's not the end of the world, but there will be a few people with, with an Ariola Turner or something like that. Or Strakosha or something. Or something. Yeah. Rough. Ouch. Anyway, uh, Mavropanos, Emerson, Suchek, JWP, Bowen, Paqueta, Kudus, and Antonio. So no Ariola, no Trippier. Who's wow. playing up front? Antonio. Antonio will be up top, yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. Love Bowen's that. hauling. You heard it here first. Big, big, <laughs> big really news. Right. So um, wait, hold up. So it's confirmed. If you make manual substitutions, you can. You don't get the auto sub. Correct. If you do, yeah. So you, see, you basically you either have to do do all do all of it or none of it. So I need to unhack my team then. Well, this is what it I'm. Depends not sure. what you want, innit? Because like. the, ho- the hack relies on auto sub. Mm. No, but but but. Therefore, if you don't do any subs and transfers, so you basically basically you've got to let them all all come in. It's so, a- for example, <clears throat> if you've chosen, let's say you've chosen um, do, on your bench, you've got Dubravka, um, uh, Livramento, um, Gordon, and Isaac. Mm-hmm. Let's just say. Don't confuse me. Just say playing players. Yeah, no, but let's just say yeah. you go for those four, right? Because I'm just using all from the same team, right? Okay. So you've gone for those four Newcastle. If Newcastle do well, or if they maybe win 1-0, but Gordon doesn't mm-hmm. Gordon doesn't score, mm-hmm. do you bring it? Do you do the auto subs and bring in and, and bring in the so you've got to basically bring in them all? And no, so you get the clean sheets, but nothing else. You, you can't you can't you can only bring on one of them. You can't you can't bring on a player who's already played as a manual substitution. No, no. So you, that's the thing. So, so you'd, you, have, you'd have to let so your auto. You'd have to let. You'd have to let all, all of them. them all, you'd have to let yeah. all of them play, or none if you them. make one sub, then none of them are gonna come on. Yeah. Oh man. Tommy Young is the second one. Actually, the one. Tom is right. It was the same with the World Cup. No, the World Cup. Listen, I did some dodgy, dodgy things in the World Cup. That game was so broken. Listen, <laughs> I did some dirty, dirty hacking in that World Cup. I won a lot of money off that, but um. Not Did you lot. win money? Yeah. How? Cash Mini league. leagues, yeah. Oh, right. oh. I never get involved in cash leagues. You've got to help me out on this next season. <laughs> yeah, but you just lose money. I was in the... <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do, you know, do you know Delete 64? Have you heard of Elite 64? Yeah. So there's like this Elite 64 of managers. So there's like a Delete 64. <laughs> it's a cash league. Yeah, you have to meet 
minimum <laughs> rank requirements. <laughs> Basically, you can't be in the Delete 64 League unless you're poor enough as a manager. <laughs> so your rank history would not be able to get it. Um, uh, yes. So last four seasons outside of the top 50k, something like that. Um, and they did a World Cup near week. And I was complaining about how bad the World Cup fantasy was the whole time. But I still won. And there was one guy in there who was just pissed that I won. He was just fuming. I was properly rubbing it in his face. Whoever he is, <laughs> you know who you are. But yes, uh, I think in that case, I might unhack my team now. I haven't hacked my team. I've just picked some players that I think might do well. Should we do lineups? Yeah. Hmm? Should, Should we do lineups? Uh, yes, I was just gonna. I'm just getting in the. Um... He's de-hacking or re-hacking. His team. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I yeah. just want to <laughs> literally give you that. Um, so because someone, he's I can't rules. find it. How oh, poo? Um, because I didn't see that. Where are you? Sorry, carry on talking, everyone. <laughs> I'll, I'll run through my team Go on then. as yeah. I've not hacked. Um, right, so I've got uh, a quadruple Fulham defence with Leno, Robinson, Tossin and Castagna, which goes against my 2-1 Fulham win prediction. Um, I've then got Son, Palmer, Rashford, Bruno and Salah in midfield, none captain. Uh, and then up top I've got Munez captain and Darwin as well with a bench of triple Bournemouth Defence and Watkins. You got some Barney in there, don't you? Uh, I do. <laughs> uh, right, I've got it here before we carry on the runs team. So, screenshotted from the official rules. You can make unlimited changes, starting team, captain, squad, before and during the game week, but these must be made before a player's team starts their first match of the game week. After this, they'll be locked in. We know that already. Your team can play in any formation by the one goalkeeper, three dead defender, that. yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is the point. If no changes are made after the first match of the game week has started, then automatic substitutions will take place at the end of the game week in a similar way to France and Premier League. If so the changes. If no changes have been made. So if you make changes, there won't if be you make changes. It doesn't, doesn't say that, though. Subs. Huh? It doesn't say that. It literally says that in the rules. It says if no changes are made, then auto-substitutes will happen. Yeah, yeah. But, but it doesn't say auto-substitutes won't happen if changes are made. It implies that, though. It implies that. It doesn't say it. So we don't know that for certain. I mean, you're going to find out. This we weekend. will find out. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot. Yeah. It's, a ba- it's a beta. I, I, I don't, I don't think FPL Challenge was designed for this level of thought. So let's just let's just move on. I'll read out my team. Um, where are we? It's got Matoma. <laughs> no, I've currently got McGinn captain. McGinn? But I need to change it to oh, Matoma because yeah, he's, he's, he's suspended, isn't he? Um, all right. So I've got Leno in goal who is staying. And then I've got... I'm going to read out my normal unhack team first. Uh, Pedro Porro, Udogi, and Gusto. I've got Salah, Son, Palmer, Jackson, Solanke, and Darwin. Um, and then I've got Timber, Trent, and McGinn to hack. I'll go with mine. Yep. Uh, I've obviously gone for the, the Spurs defence. Uh, <laughs> so I've gone Vicario, Porro, and Udogi uh, with Gusto as well. Um, Salah, Son, Palmer, and Madison, and then Watkins, Jackson, and Darwin. I think or Captain Palmer. To win it, though, do you not feel like you just need to go all in on certain events yeah. happening? Like there's there's like no point to pick like two from one team, two from another. Well, there is if you get the talismans. Well, yeah, like going forward, yeah, but like in a defense. Should you not just pick one up, one team up. and There's... bank on them getting a clean sheet? Well, again, we I'm get sorry. so few clean I'm sheets. You, I, I think obviously, I think you go f- you you go for the you go for for players you you're hoping are going to haul. Yeah. So you you go for a, a, a Porro, you go for a Augusto, you go for like attack and return defenders. Yeah. And if they then get the clean sheet, you've then got a fifteen pointer ish. Um, I mean, I my team, I've got. Four Arsenal players, Hein, Sweet, Timber, and Bandera. Um, yeah, I, I'd never heard of Sweet Sounds and like Bandera Sounds like speaking either. Spanish. I think <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, and uh, I'd heard of Hein, basically. But yeah, those are my four kind of uh, Chico players. Um, so my real team, sort of as it were, is Dubravka, Chilwell, Gusto, Pedro Porro, Palmer, Salah, Son, Madison, Darwin, Munez, and Isaac. Who are you, Captain? 
at the moment it's on Salah. See, I think are we going to say other other types of fancy games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's like on fan team they have this mm. they have this thing every week uh, called the, like the monster. So they do this thing. I mean, if you're going to win it, you, you just have to go. You have to go different, don't you? There's there's, there's not like a uh, there's only one prize isn't there for winning each week. I think it's um, like top five or something. Top like five. That. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like you've got to go. Your captain's got to be different, hasn't it? Really, or or you've got to put some. That's what I was saying. Like, like for me, I've gone four. Who's going to have four Fulham defenders? Realistically, yeah, yeah. nobody. And then who's going to captain Nunez? Hello, 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 hello. I have very important information. Whatever you read out is not true. It's not from the official website. It Nick, is. Nick has just pointed that out. I've gone through the official website. That's not one of the rules. Um, it does not say that. Um, automatic substitutions will happen normally, as we know FPL to do. Uh, that's that's what I was, that's what I was thinking. Sim, you can't use your didn't see it chip. Listen, <laughs> calm, <laughs> calm, man, You're getting on my nerves. Um, you, can't, you can't use it after the game week's over either. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you. Yeah, I know. Anyway, <laughs> um, no, it, it, that screenshot is fake. Let me see it. <sighs> Autom- I'm looking at all the chain, all the rules. There is nothing about manual substitutions or anything or automatic whatever you said. Um, so I will be hacking the life out of my team. You can win a trip to New York, can't you? No, you get into you get put into a raffle. Oh, that's horrendous, isn't it? Yeah, they need to up the up the ante on the prizes. You will get a stress ball and a signed shirt. <laughs> I saw a signed shirt, but it just depends on what shirts they've got signed at that time. <laughs> it's a bond you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been so cold, Kirkers. <laughs> but yeah, and also you know what, Sim? Uh, fair play, you're right. I've just looked through the rules. Um. You've just read the rules to a, a different game. Yes. Oh, uh, when I, I, right, I'm calling you out. That's bitch. That, that rule. Um, that rule is this a, person. Is a Champions Ari- League. Ariola starts. By the the way. Blues FPL. Oh. So what? You gave us fake team news. Someone's given fake team news. Has wow. so, no. So has Ariola the whole, starts. The last ten minutes, everything's been wrong. <laughs> just, <laughs> like and subscribe, everyone. Just, uh, <laughs> but, but delete it from the stream. Trippier, <laughs> Trippier definitely doesn't play. Wow, are we sure? So uh, there was someone <laughs> the, in black and white. There was someone in the chat who's got um, who Trippier, Trippier's not in the squad actually. Scroll oh. up, scroll up a sec because the guy who goes fuck. It's him. Who is it? Scroll up, scroll up. I didn't oh, think. Yeah, up, there yeah. you go. So FPL copycat. Great news for you. Ariola does start. We had a fake, <coughs> fake ITK. Yes. Uh, right, so Ariola does start, but Trippier is definitely out of the squad. Out of the squad. Nice. Just there for cheerleading purposes. Yes. Thank you for pointing that out, by the way. Nick Giordano. 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 G- Giordano. Giordano is Italiano. It's not our Nick, is it? No. Okay. He's just got the hair to have that surname. Shout out, Nick. Uh, that's why you should fact check things, especially when they come out of Tom's mouth. Did, okay. you, did you know? In tw- Look, blame the Blues FPL. Can I see the screenshot? Can you pass me the phone? Like, can you just send it over? In 2040, Kobe Miney will be the same age as Tony Kroos right now. Isn't that mental? In 2040, I'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 40. Oh, God, how old will I be? Six, 16 years' time. I will be 58. Can I, can I, can I <laughs> scroll through this? You actually could be my dad. That's, that's mental. <laughs> <laughs> where's, the, where's this blues guy? Oh, here he is. Yeah, and like with this, you basically, you have to, you have, to have your whole defence... Well, you should have basically your whole defence from one team. Mm. You've got to gamble with it, haven't you, really? Mm. Um, I said that I've, I've done from two teams. but I'm so confused. Yeah, but you, s- you can Gusto. still. I've got Gusto and then the rest is Spurs. I think you... I think well, you well, well, I think you've got to be careful, though, is obviously the um, order of your subs. If you're going to do the hack, right, you've got to be careful of the order. Mm. I, 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 I just don't think I'll hack. I really? Think, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just a bit of fun, like... Yeah, yeah that's, I've not done that. No. Like, the chance of you winning this, even with hacking, is like... The same minimal yeah. chance but of winning listen, a film. I, I live for that 0.1%. That's that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've missed a trick. Going benched? No. No, no. No, no, no. No, onion, onions. No. Mum! <laughs> you know, I, I, I block people on my stream for fake team news. Uh, yeah. You should block I, me. I, I hate Kev, it. Kev, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, he, he has given a winky, winky emoji, so I let him off. But you're a yellow card, mate. Mum. <laughs> mate. Sorry. <laughs> he's, not com- he's not coming over dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what we so that you don't uh, I feel like I missed a trick unless I'm wrong. There's no like accumulative league, is there? No. With this, no. So I feel like it would have been decent if there was a different challenge each week, but the league accumulated. 
But then it's just FPL, right? But then it is. But then, yeah, with, if, if, with then just if you drop added... in and out, it's yeah. not as... But I, I get what, what you mean. What is how, a, how do you know who's What is the mini like? league for, though? Is it just like to see who you, the, how you're doing against your mates on a weekly yeah, basis? So I mean, yeah. it's, is that it? Which is a bit... They could, I, have, they could have been I more like, creative. I, with yeah, it. I like your idea, but then like it just totally derails the whole point of it because it's like to get people engaged again yeah. and they can just play it when they want. They don't have to care about a league or... Maybe yeah. tracking how many times someone came first, even. Maybe, like, yeah. That would well, be the good, one, yeah. The, one, the yeah. one big thing I hope it... The one big thing I, I hope this causes is right now, as you've seen when you've ever checked out, like, um, Team of the Week, mm. if you check out Midweek particularly, um, and, and then whoever wins anyway, you have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of accounts. Um, I think it's quite big in Egypt. I think it's a big thing where they just play for the week. They don't care about the the game. They'll just set up new teams. Hope they're trying to win that week. They're trying to, you know, and and that's it. If they've now got this game, then I hope that then takes it away from them, and therefore the people who are only interested in that one week will play this game and not the actual game. Mm -hmm. and the reason why I like that is because um, those type of players cause such big um, price changes. Yeah, and and they mess mess it all up, and, and I think also also I get uh, people going. God, I can't believe I people have fifty thousand people have taken out Salah this week when he's got. The <laughs> yeah, yes, because it's people who are playing for the week and they don't care and they're just sort of mm. doing whatever. Yeah, um, I think they'll still do it though because they'll. I think they do that to get that top score of the week type thing. You know, when you press the button mm. and then they see that team, they just do it for that. Ooh, would they not just go for the challenge? Good content, man. It does Recently, that. I was smashing out the views <laughs> on that. Ooh. Couple hundred thousand views. Loving life. Mm. Okay, so who are, for those who are interested in playing and still haven't set up a team, by the way, uh, you put it in the chat, didn't you? The coach it's joined pinned. the league. It's pinned. It's pinned. So the pin chat, is, the pin thing is there. Come and join the Juicy Challenge League and obviously give us a like and subscribe while you're there. What was the, um, what was the captaincy? Oh, best captaincy. Son nice. take beats it, beats Salah. Interesting. 120 votes. What did you guys wow. decide? We're, We're all on Salah. 100% Salah, was it? Weren't here? you on Son? No, I'm on Salah. Oh. It was either Par you go for? Palmer or Salah. Yeah. But I mean, right. I'm surprised. More haven't gone for well. I'm not surprised with that. The Luton defense is like just decimated right now. Mm. And Richarlison's out. So there's no, no, he's not out. He was confirmed out. No, no he's uh, available. He's available and playing. He's Postacogli said he's available. Yeah. You you weren't listening in the team news. Fake team news. I've been telling my whole stream that Charleston's out. <laughs> oh. You should have paid attention when I was doing my team news. Oh. But you, uh, he's, you he's scolded right me. From... Has, hasn't he actually... What? Van, de, Van der Ven, Benton Kill, and Richardson <laughs> are available for selection. That's what you said yesterday. Oh, I am got in clean trouble. Sheet all over it. I am in trouble. Van der Ven's cheap as well. 4.4. 4. Oh. So I, yeah, I saw the, a few people with Dragerson on their wild cards. The official quote is, Richarlison is okay, trained today, and feels good. We, d we didn't we just get told he's out for like two weeks. That was yeah, so that was yesterday. like before the international Two break. weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> fair, enough, fair enough. That's that's my... I need to, the problem is I do juice. Normally, I would wow, have Wow, blaming the, us. Yes. No, normally blame I would, yourself. I, you should, I literally gave you the information. And, you were sat this literally where you are right your now. Your delivery is important. It's like, <laughs> you, you, you know when you have a really <laughs> bad teacher in school? You know, where wow. some teachers get you through to you? got two teachers here. I know. And clearly there's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well played. No, that's my mistake. I should have listened. What do you teach? PE. PE. Oh, PE. You see, the, the PE teachers are always good. PE teachers what are do you teach? Good. Maths. Maths. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have taught maths. Yeah, as a as a part of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah when, when all the maths teachers have left, they're stressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you're not learning nothing when your PE teacher comes and does maths. That day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> physical algebra is a physical <laughs> one. Um, right. Okay, so right. If, for those who are interested and haven't yet set up a team, you have until the uh, the deadline, right? There's Sorry, no, until no kickoff. There's no deadline. Yeah, you have no but to set up a team. You've got to set up a team before the before no, you kickoff. don't. No, you can set up a team right before the Last Arsenal game. City. Game. Oh, could you? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Well, interesting. Oh, yeah, you could, but you yeah, just you miss out. All, five, just miss out on all the other games. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for those who haven't yet set up a team and are interested, who do we think are? Um, I mean, obviously, I think uh, we all agree that try and be have have a bit have. Have a bit of fun. Be differential. Enjoy this one. I think is the, the thing. Having said that, who are you? Give me everyone your top three, five players you choose. On who? Who are the players you say were like, challenge? 
Yeah, for mm. the for FBL challenge this week, who would you, who are you going for? Go on, Josh. Um, I think you've got to target fixtures. So Muniz, I'd go for. Even though I, I just don't think he'll play ninety minutes though, because Jimenez is back. But yeah, I'd say him. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say some, I think Rashford will do well this week. Brentford away, hitting on the counter attack, um, and then I think Robertson, like Robinson from Fulham as well. Like he's att- attacking for it's decent. Sheffield United away, they're rubbish at home. Sheffield United, so yeah, that'll be my three. Nice, nicely differential as well. Not gone for the obvious ones. Sim. Son's 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the truth, isn't it? They're the, they're, the, they're the three best picks this weekend. But okay, if we're saying not them three. Okay, well, so we're saying Salason Palmer should be in everyone's team unless you really want to go against the grain, right? Yeah. So those are the three kind of top yes. captain's choices, the three okay. obvious ones. But if we're not, outside those three. If we're not doing that, um, I would. I I'm going to change I my captain because he always does this, but just before I say something, he takes it off me. <laughs> it will be, I think, is definitely a good shout. Um, I like that. Uh, yeah. I would go for Jackson up against Burnley. Any Chelsea against Burnley really feels fun. Um, so it will be Jackson and oh, I want to say Muniz, but you said it, so I'm going to leave that out. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to say Ivan Tony. I do think I do think Brentford do something against. United, so Tony, Daryl. Um, so exempt from them, I would go Gusto. I think he could get a really big score. Mm. Um, I would go. Uh, my mum was gonna be Jackson. I think Jackson will go big. Um, I know he's got the he's got nine yellow cards, isn't he? I think. I yeah. Think he's one mm. away from it's a booking. The, so the beauty of this game. Yeah, that's what right. I mean. So it, he will. He should play. He's in decent form. Um, so I think he will go big. I think I might actually put him as captain. Um, and uh, I mean, I'd, because I haven't gone with him on my wild card, I'm going to go Watkins as well. I think he might go. I think he can always go big. Yeah. Um, I like the like the Liverpools. I just think that, you know, like a Diaz, a Nunes, um, someone like that. Maybe even like a Connor Bradley if he's starting this week. Um. But yeah, they're the ones that I'm going to nice. be thinking about. You haven't left me too many choices. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to look like I've got no, no ability. <laughs> Nothing changes there. Um, but I'm going to go with um, uh, well, a Chelsea player who hasn't been picked yet. So I'll go for Mudrick just for a bit of laugh. Or, or maybe even maybe even a Sterling. You know, as the, like when he's down and out, yeah. he's the one that comes through. Yeah. Um, it could be the type of game where he just goes, give me the, the ball. The stat padder, isn't he? I think. Yeah. He loves it. Like a uh, I'm going to go Darwin. I think he said Darwin. Did he yeah. score a brace against them at Turf Moor earlier in the season? Mm. I think. Yeah. Mudrick has a brace. In no, the no, 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 no. It's it's early. Early. no. Because no. I remember everyone jumped on him. Yeah. I can't remember. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was early in the season. Yeah. He was he was essential, I think, yeah. at one point. Because everyone, he scored like a hat trick or something at the bridge against Luton. Yeah. yeah, and then everyone jumped on him, and then it was like four or five weeks later he's blanked. Yeah, and then he and got then, a brace then, against. And everyone was like, like, "Okay, let's yeah. talk so, him for the relegation fixtures." Yeah. <laughs> so Sterling, Mudrick, and uh, and Darwin were then, and also a shout out for Isaac. Darwin, Darwin, Nunes. Right. Press the big button. Press the nook. Yes. Not quite. No. Um, that. Oh yeah, that is what I pressed. That's actually what I need to press, isn't it? He actually never told me. They said all he said was don't press it. But actually, yeah, that will end everything. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Daryl. First of all, to you. Have you enjoyed yourself? Loved it. Yeah, appreciate coming on. Excellent. I really, really enjoyed well, it. You're very, very welcome. Anytime. I'll be chatting to you after the show. Well, lovely. Thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for coming on, and thank you for um, carrying me and the rest of our team on your back last week at the uh, <laughs> at the tournament. Um, <laughs> Joshy boy, thank you very much as always. Pleasure, mate. Absolute legend. Um, and yeah, truly uh, good luck to you. And um, I hope you get your, your top 1K at least uh, <laughs> this season. Um, I reckon and I this time, three digits, man. Three digits. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what we're going for, man. And Sim, I hope you finish outside the top million. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you ranked right now? 220. Oh. No, less than half yours. Less than half mine. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got, I, reckon, I, reckon, I, reckon, I reckon I can catch that. I reckon I you, can yeah, you can catch 220, but I won't, I, be, I won't be there when you get there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, genuinely, I'm, st- I'm, if, I'm if aiming I, for I top finish, 50k. If I, if I finish inside top 200k, I'll count that as a win. I'm sure you would, yeah. yeah. That would be a win How for you. How far are you off it? 
I mean, I must have miles. I'm like 550p at the moment. I don't. I don't think I you're think that far actually off. I think the points difference. Yeah, in that it's sort not. Of ranks. It's not. I was. I was 500 at three, four weeks. Ben ago. gets a green arrow and he's up like 300k rank, like 600k. Yeah. Okay, then we'll say one, top 100k then. Last, not last season. Last, last season I did really well, but the season before I was like, I flew like right at the death, snuck into top 100k. I was like, I think it's like 60k. So hopefully we can do something similar this time around. I'm just gonna have a quick look now. Actually, um, I was. I oh know it was quite a while ago. Game at 23, I was at 740. You'd be able Game to at 24, 495. The, yeah. Then I went up and down a bit. Four, four twenty eight, twenty seven, then three hundred, and then two two five. So I've gone from four twenty eight to two. I've gone jumped up two hundred thousand places in two weeks. Sam, well done. No, All I'm right. just saying it's pos possible for you, but well, not you, but for someone in your position. Ben, ben is, I think, five hundred k. Okay. Let me check. Four six four. He is okay, yeah. and he's only like thirty points behind Tom. There you go. There's only 30 points between 500 and 200k. Yeah. You are so f. <laughs> Although, look at this. Why aren't you in our pundits league, by the way? Yeah, because I, was just trying to I have you. not been officially invited. Rude. Mm. I mean, fair. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you've only done about 17 it's of these. Just another, another 17 person. 17 of these shows. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, not quite ready there for the pundits league. <laughs> um, oh. I don't think I can invite you. No. That's okay. Steffo Lash just not being. Okay. I, I'm, I'm third in the league. Yeah. Behind uh, Nima and obviously Josh. Yeah. Is Nima second? Yeah. How far is he off me? Uh, he's 80 points off you. 80? Wow. Where, where's Nima rank? What's your rank? You must Mine be like 200 points ahead of me. How far ahead of me are you? 18, 39 I've got. Yeah, how, where am I? You're not in that league. Check the plug league. league. Anywho. Great content this is. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. So... Guys, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for joining. Do If you haven't done so already, do give us a like and subscribe on your way out. Um, and uh, we will be... Well, actually, I won't be here uh, next week. Yeah! <laughs> uh-huh. Fair. Um, it's my baby shower. Um, <laughs> <damn it. laughs> How are you laughing at him like that? Rude. No, because he was so does he, like, does he understand the terminology? I don't. I don't know. I think it means baby shower. Means like, is that? Not, oh, can I, I come? Is that? Is that party for the baby for the kids that would I could play? Well, I, I don't no. want a baby shower. But you're like, it's my baby shower. So it kind of made me laugh. Oh look, I'm proud that. Well, oh, I'm proud of me. Is it first? So, yeah. yeah. Oh, congratulations. So next week, so far on the show, uh, we. Uh, oh, hang on. Sorry, no, I am on next week's show. Next week's show because oh. it's a Tuesday. We got yeah. a game week on Tuesday, haven't we? So when I will that, be when, here on Tuesday. When that happens, do you combine the Tuesday stream and streamception? Uh, we do. We do. Yeah, because we we'll do streamception four thirty till six. When's the? Oh, and then you'll do the thingy. And show then no, and then I'm not doing juice. Oh, is it a new panel after that? Yeah, yeah, it'll be the, the regular juice boys. I'm about to tell you who's coming on on Tuesday's show. Okay. But yeah, on Tuesday right now we have myself, Ash, and uh, Semi Casual. So mm -hmm. space one more if anyone's keen. I'll Possible talk to you about it. Possible, we'll see. Except for you. Uh, yeah, the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, so I'll be joining you on Tuesday, Saturday, um, TBC, who will be in then. Um, and on Tuesday's main show, we have got... Da, 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 um, um, that's the 2nd of April. So we've got Out the Tunnel coming on. Who's Out the Tunnel? You don't know Out the Tunnel? Outrageous. Okay. FPL podcast? Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but out of the tunnel. So as, um, you know, I think one thing that we, you know, well, one thing they do, the Juice Boys, um, you know, Ash, Nick and, and James, one thing they're fantastic on is not, we, you know, we get all the top content creators on as well, but we also get um, other fantastic guests on as well who, who might not be seen in other places. Um, so, you know, last week we had Nathan Caton on, um, We've had Andrew Neve. We've had you know lots of Nathan. Guys. Big yeah. FPL Obviously, we've got Daryl on here today. Um, and, and yeah, so um, out Nathan the tunnel will be in on uh, Tuesday, um, and uh, and then well, we got late riser on the week after that. But there we go. Oh, stick me on that week. No, Longo's <laughs> already got it. Unlucky. Um, and yeah. Anyway, so uh, also as well, we do have. Um, I think we have still got the um, FPL Taskmaster coming up next weekend on Sunday. <laughs> Um, although I've not heard much about it, but I assume that's still going ahead next Sunday. Um, details can be found on the website or on uh, X uh, Twitter feed for FPL Juice. Um, uh, also coming up later on this summer, we have got um, uh, FPL Traitors 
as a fantastic uh, event. And FPL Gladiators. And obviously, anyone who's interested in Gladiators, the final is on tonight. I can't wait for that. Um, but yes, so those events are coming up. And uh, hopefully, we'll have a um, uh, maybe a, a summer tournament coming up. Although I don't know about that. But maybe I'll organise uh, another five other tournament because last week was class, wasn't it? Very good. Yeah, very, it was very an good. class. And yeah, um, obviously, we've spoken about that last Tuesday. But congratulations again to, uh, to Focal and all of the team. So, guys, thank you very much in the chat. Pleasure seeing you all. And uh, yeah, thanks very much, guys, for joining us. And that's us. I'm out. Can I press the button now? Duke. <laughs> Peace. Bye, Felicia. I'll copy her. Bye now. <laughs>